Oh my god. Oh my god. The choo choo train game is here. That's all. Oh, we're going to space China. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh darn. Oh darn. It's time for the choo choo in the space China. Hey guys. I know it's kind of a silly thing to say. Considering that, um, you know, we're going to finish off the space China. Uh, 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 stuff and catch up to all of the 1.0 uh, Star Rail content but I don't know if you've heard the news about my channel but apparently I'm going to stop doing full LPs of games I know it's terrible oh no I I So yesterday, yesterday I was talking about Zelda and I was talking about how like I had canceled that week's Zelda and next week there's no time for Zelda. So I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it. Um, and it went into this discussion about how back on the best friends channel, it was an absolute hard and fast, hard rule that if you started any game, that that game had to get finished so that people wouldn't get disappointed that you didn't finish it. And it was never broken. And that meant that there were some slogs out there. There were some big old slogs. And so I said, you know, now with streaming, I really feel like if I'm not feeling something or there's stuff that I'd rather cover or whatever, that I'm not going to feel beholden. And, like, Zelda's a good example, because Zelda's, like, stupid gigantic, and I could beeline all the dungeons, but I don't think that'd be actually very interesting to most people, so I don't know really what I'm going to do with it, right? And I may fade away, because Street Fighter and FF16 and System Shock are of a much higher priority, right? And somebody made a whole Reddit thread saying, I don't know if you guys heard the news. But Pat's no longer going to do full Let's Plays ever. And and then like, like three or four people made these huge posts that got very updated. It's like, yeah, man, because there's that new baby coming. You know, you know, streams are going to like really get cut up or, you know, won't have time to do anything cool. For, like, okay. I have a wonderful wife who will be doing a great job taking care of baby while I am over here with y'all. Occasionally, there may be some kind of, let's call it a poop disaster. In which case, I'll get a frantic phone call and I'll have to rush off and, and, and help with, you know, any particular poopy problems that occur. Right? Um... But, uh, so yeah, I it may occasionally dip out, right? Uh, but like the idea that like, oh, now that there'll be a newborn, the schedule will change and Pat won't be able to play. Like that's fucking stupid. This, that, that feels, maybe I'm just being, maybe I'm being too sensitive. It feels like people practicing getting ready for like this coming fall and they're like you know i really was on the fence with pat's content but ever since that baby showed up you can just tell that it's much worse and that he's not playing the games that i would want him to play anymore and you know it's it's obviously because of the baby and it's like oh my fucking god Creepy porpoise says they are jealous of the new baby. That's right. Creepy porpoise, they were never the old baby. They were never the old baby. Never. There's only one old baby in this house, and that's Elmo. Ah. <sighs> 
Have I entered the new codes for the Honkai Choo Choo game? I have. I also, when I typed in the name Honky Choo Choo, um, Twitch told me I couldn't use it because it breaks terms of service. So I'm like, oh. If Baby wasn't here, Pat would stream Savage. Queequeg, I really want to point out that you have completely nailed it. You've totally nailed it. Congrats. Oh. So yeah, to those of you who say before uh before that got taken down, I did in fact see uh there's a video of a Dalzim trial from the retail copy of Street Fighter 6. Um in which Dalzim hits Ryu with a punish counter from full screen. Like, farther away than round start, full screen. And is able to dash in into a combo from, like, corner to corner. <laughs> I would show it to you if I could. But it is just... I unfortunately did not see the trial for Geef that just melts someone. What I do know, however, do you know how much damage? A, so, what in Street Fighter Six, a punish counter is a counter hit that is in somebody's recovery. So, the easiest way to think of a punish counter is a punish counter is the kind of counter hit you'd get when somebody does like a Shoryuken, but you block it and then they land and you get to do whatever you want. Um, the um, damage on a EX uh, SPD for Zangief on a character that's like, you know, getting punished countered is 40%. It's more than most character supers. Counters before the move comes out, yeah, and punish counters while they recover, yep. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, everybody's got everything, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. If Dalsim can combo you from full screen, then I should only have to make two guesses in the entire game. That's how, that's how it works. I should only have to guess correctly twice. That's what I think. That's what Pat think. By the way, Honky Choo Choo Train uh, 1.0 is going to come out on June 6th. And uh, that is the same day. Uh, they're going to have some kind of... Uh, did, I, did I not say one? I, I meant 1.1. What did I say? What did I say, though? I, I thought I said... I said 1.0? Sorry. 1.1 is coming out on Honky Choo Choo Train on June 6th. That's in just a little bit. They're going to have a little story stuff. They're going to add, like, some events. They're going to have uh, Silver Wolf. I don't know if I want to even roll on Silver Wolf. I'd probably rather roll on Locha. Um, Pat, here's a question. When N Walker reaching its end here, any ideas when we will learn about 7.0? You will learn about 7.0 at the next, um, Fan Fest, which is in July? Last weekend of July, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to even bother rolling on, um, Silver Wolf because it's like the four stars that are on her banner are like Dawn and like two other uh, Asta. And it's like, yeah, no, fuck it. No, no, I'm good. That The banner sucks. The banner sucks shit. Do I miss being a potato? No. Don't ask me that. 
Hey, I'll be right back. Excuse me. Hey, what's up? Ah. When's Pat Limba's company? I don't know what that is. What happened with Dalsam and SF6? Dude, I just talked about that. Just scroll it back a little bit. Oh, barf. Ast is good, but I'm going for the Imaginary Healer. Yeah, dude. Imaginary is the, the rarest... It's the rarest damage type in the entire game right now. By far. By far. Hey, Anonymous kicked in $5. Thanks, Anonymous. Want to say, Pat, you said MK1 through 8 is 1 through Armageddon, but it's actually 1 through MK versus DC. The devs consider that 8. Armageddon is 7. I bring this up because the story is about a timeline reboot, meaning MK1 2023 is the third reboot. No Breath says, I wasn't able to get Sele. That sucks because uh, Sele and Jingwan are... Like, it makes sense that they did this at the beginning. Those two are the absolute end-all, be-all, single-target and multi-target DPS. Um... Um, for now, obviously... Um, what's her name? Um, Silver Wolf is probably going to be the best ever, um, debuffer. And then Locha is probably going to be the best healer, etc. You have 50 50 on the banner, but you got Baylu. Oh, Baylu's good. Baylu's the only thing in the game that can bring people back from the dead. I don't know. Sele is probably going to be a top tier forever. More turns is OP. So I don't think... So this is funny. Sele, um, I don't think she's going to be top tier forever because more turns is OP. I think Sele is going to be top, turn, top tier forever because one of her traces is 20% um, extra damage against enemies that aren't weak to her damage type <laughs> which nobody else has um nobody else has that um but yeah it looks like so like I, am i gonna roll on silver wolf yeah probably um and then i'm gonna roll that on on uh locha yeah totally um I really wanted Jingwan and I really wanted Sele. Um, everybody else, I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, am I spending money? The answer to that is complicated. I did spend some of Chat's money. Uh, I bought the big pack of, of, of money dollars with Chat dollars explicitly. Uh, and I have the... Um, the daily thing, the the little, you know, the thingy. <coughs> Are rolls you do on stream tax refundable? Probably. Probably. I'll talk to a guy about it. Um, hey, Chance H kicked in a sub. Thanks, man. Pat, how much money have you spent so far? I want to say a hundred and. Seven dollars. Uh, no, one hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Uh, Wool kicked in a sub. Says Pat. Hey Pat. Hey Wool. What up? Uh, shut up, phone. I wonder if I could pretend to be an affiliate of yours and deduct it from my taxes too. <laughs> no. -uh. Who's your favorite character? Like 
design character wise i really like jing Wan and i really like uh jeopard a lot i think um uh, if I, and locha and yeah dudes in cool flowy armor sets and blade yeah like that's my aesthetic twink me up captain Erie kicked in a five dollars. Thanks, Erie. Uh, hey, Pat. Want to let you know this is actually the fourth Honkai game. The first two were localized as "Fly Me to the Moon" Honkai Academy and "Gun Girls" Honkai Academy. Wait, Gun Girls was Honkai two? Oh my god! All these Honkais everywhere. And we're Maple Story style single player side scrollers. Yeah, I remember Gun Girls. Uh, okay, serious question. Those aren't good games aside. What is the actual difference between spending 137 on this versus any cash sup in other games? Um, the main difference is that this game is actually free and can be done free to play. And if I so desired, I could just never pay for it again and i could pretend that i bought the deluxe edition um but most of its preference most of its preference one of the one of the things that one of the things that free-to-play games have going for them and it's it's the way that the money works is that because the game is in fact actually completely 100 percent free it weirdly makes you feel like like spending a ca spending like cash shop items for cosmetics in like assassin's creed fuck ass whatever when the game's already 90 dollars feels like a ripoff but spending a hundred bucks on cool characters in a game that you already like that you technically got for free somehow feels totally legit um it's very interesting it, a lot of that is psychological trickery. A lot of it. Um, that being said, uh, a, a big part of it, um, I have been playing more Honkai Star Rail than I have FF14. And by more, I mean way more. I am playing the game twice a day morning and evening every day now granted spacebird says that 14 has no content that's not true he just doesn't have any content that i want to do that i haven't done you know um right the star rail is so good on the telephone it is such a goddamn good telephone game. It is it is the telephone game. Genshin does not have shit on it as a telephone game. You also fell behind on 14 because you were potato for several months. It's true. What Trailblaze level am I at? I think I'm like 43, maybe 44. Valderic kicked in a sub. Thanks, Valderic. Streamer, formerly known as Potato. Sorry, Potato, no longer streaming? Damn, guess this money goes to just normal pass stairs at now. Thanks, Valderick. Pat won't get there before a new patch comes out. Oh, not even close. I am going to finish the China content today, but I, st I haven't done one China side quest. I've not done a single China side quest. Not even a one. I haven't done any of the purple quests. I did blow through that event super hard though. How simulated world going? I'm stuck on chapter. I'm stuck on five. I'm having a really hard time beating Kafka. Uh. The event was very easy. It was very easy. Ligma Lamenta kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Ligma. I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, I, I I was looking it up and uh, for World Five. Uh, people were suggesting abundance because if you get enough abundance upgrades, 
you just cleanse the the debuff every turn. Um and she can't hurt you. <laughs> Yeah. So Ligma says, I got Star Trek Elite Force for GOG. Why is one of the best FPS in Star Trek games a fucking shoot game? Uh, yeah, it's weird. So Star Trek is like a uniquely terrible setting um, for a first person shooter. Uh, unless you're on Janeway's Voyager. Um,. There were a wild amount of problems in Star Trek Voyager that were only f only solvable um, with violence. Really crazy. You had the Herosian. You had the Borg. Man, a lot of Herosian. A lot of Herosian. Killed Tuvix. Killed him. Infinity OD kicked in sub pad. I've been watching the God of War Ragnarok vids after I platinum it myself, and I am shocked to learn that you spend my sub money on gotcha. That money is meant for dog treats for Geefy Boy. I want to make it very super very clear. The money that was spent on gotcha was specifically put out with a little there was a little thing in the bottom. Uh it was this button. I think it Yeah. Yeah, there's a little orange bar that was wailing for Sale. And it was only donations during that very specific point with that little tracker on the screen. How do I feel about In the Pale Moonlight from DS9? I can't remember what episode that is. I remember that the name, that good name, though. Is that the murder one? Is that where they blew up the Romulans? Oh, man. That was a good goddamn episode. That's what that was. It's a fake! Ah, oh, good time. God, I'm so... I'm fucking stoked for Street Fighter, bro. I want to fight everybody in Street Fighter. Even if I'm trash. I'm probably trash. But, you know, we'll live. I'll live. I'll live. I'll manage. <laughs> Gotta turn off Steam before I turn on this controller. Even Sim? Yeah, even Sim. You're glad S uh, Savage is out next week because watching fighting games is boring? Ah, I'm sorry, man. Personally, I find it wildly invigorating. But, um... Part of that is passing interest. If you have no passing interest, then, yeah, I mean, yeah, right? Like, people who don't, um, people that don't give a shit about, like, MMOs, dude, Savage looks like the most boring shit in the world. Oh, my God. Like, no, it's like a dance with your friends. It's like, it's like line dancing, but with a monster. And, like, you know. <laughs> um, you know? Uh, will I be watching SGDQ next week? No. No, I will not. I, uh, I find watching, like, live, uh, stuff like that, like, super boring. Like, super, super boring. Uh, I need to... Hold on a second... Uh, da, 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 da. I need to hit some buttons. Oh, really? Oh. You guys excuse me just one second while I get this ready.
Hello. We're back. Hello. Have I done the normal tier for the patch this yet for Street Fighter 4? Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 fucking Final Fantasy 14. I have. It's fine. It's fine. What I got in the travel log? Oh, I already did all this. This is one of those things where they're like, do it. And I'm like, I did it. You don't need to tell me about it, bro. Let's hit my messages from Pela. Anyone there? Pat, next performance of Mechanical Fever is about to start. You coming? I will go next time. I'm busy. I will go next time. Said last time you've been a fan for 10 years. I have been, I'm busy. I'm busy doing space stuff. Can I watch a recording? I think that's a good idea. Never recorded our own performance with the phone, but I'll send it to you if I can. Pity you can't be there. No, I don't care. So what I actually did uh, while we were, while I was uh, be right backing is I loaded up my PayPal and spent $13 because I actually completely maxed out the, the battle pass. I maxed it out and so I finally picked it up. I'm gonna hit this button now. Gift of the Path Striders, which do I want? Oh, that's tough, I don't know. Uh, this. Oh, another one. This. 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 Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, do oh, God. Oh, which is the good one? Abundance. Uh, max HP when using basic attack restores all HP by an amount equal to their respective max. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Nihility uh, deals 40%. Oh, I don't care about that. Preservation increases the wearer's defense, increases damage of the wearer when they use their ultimate. I don't care about that. So the hunt. Uh, crit rate. After crit rate hit, there's a 16% to dispel a buff. I don't care about that. Harmony. Oh, that's Ting Yun's. Start of the battle, whenever the warrior's turn begins, one of the following effects is applied randomly. All allies' attack increased. All allies' crit damage increased. Or all allies' regeneration increased. Uh, let's see what I have. Let's see. Oh! Let's see what I have on Ting Yun right now. Because I fucking bet it's not as good. I had dance, dance, dance on her. When the wearer uses their ultimate, all allies' actions are moved forward by 18%. Um, dance, dance, dance is actually really good. Oh. Oh, back to this. What is this? Wait, is that a bug? Oh, I have to do it every time. Okay. Uh, today's another peaceful day. Air edition. After entering the battle, they increase the wearer's damage based on max energy. Damage increases... Oh, that sucks. Nowhere to run. Destruction. Increase the wearer's attack. Never defeats an enemy. Restoration. Terrible. The hunt. Preservation. The abundance one seems... Really good. The Air Edition one is the best four star LC for Air Edition. Is it? Really? But. Increases the wearer's damage based on max energy.
its strength depends on the character you put it on. It's a flat buff to any really big energy hungry damage alt user. Well, here's the thing. What do I have on... I have on this gentleman the seriousness of breakfast. Which increases my damage by up to fucking 30%. Like, it seems worse than seriousness of breakfast. Wait, it's better than seriousness? What do you have on Fire MC? Nothing. I have, uh... Oh, I have the burn one. Oh, attack increases. Mmm. Uh... Let's see. I'm torn. I'm really torn. Because, like, I have, uh, I have her light cone, which is energy regeneration rate and outgoing healing on alt. You know. Torn. I'm very torn. Don't care about nihility. Yeah, I might. The Erudition L uh, LC is 26 damage on uh, J with no setup. Seriousness requires kills to get anywhere near there. It's only attack up. Wait, it heals 2 to 3% of the attacker's HP. But it says restores all allies' HP by an uh, uh, equal amount. of their respective max HP. So the choices are between erudition, abundance, and erudition, abundance, and harmony, huh? So the next pass is this, or am I going to have the choice between these again? Okay, I see. But isn't the one I have for her even better right now? Like, is the is dance, 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 is, is that not better? It looks like right now... My best bet is actually to get the erudition one for Jing. Would I, would everyone agree with that? All right. There's today is another peaceful day. So when it says based on their max energy, that means I, it doesn't have to be full up, right? It just has to be what whatever their high erudition is, whatever. The, okay. Whoa. That's, oh, then that's great. That's great if it's like whatever their, their max is. Oh. Yeah, that one. I don't know what these are. <laughs> I don't know what these are. Uh, wait, no. Got it. You. 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 There you go. I'm probably not going to play Bolt again. 
Yay. And we have some warps. Now, we're not going to use these warps. Those warps are for later. You know. Let's uh, pop our assignments. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to save them warps. I'm not going to use them warps. Uh, why am I putting so much emphasis on the A sound? I think it's really funny. New tournament is open. No, it's not. I'm going to walk up to this guy and he's going to be like, bro, there's a new tournament. And I'm going to be like, I've done the whole tournament, bro. Wait, why are you doing four times mad assignments? Which would you recommend? XP and credits? All right. Well, I have four. So... So... And then, but what for the fourth one? Just get whatever mats you have the bonus for left on. I can get the bonus on all of these, but. Right. Hooray. Thanks for the help. Why is it still telling me to go there, bro? Very annoying. Level rewards? Oh, goodness. I leveled up my trailblazer. Didn't even notice. How's my level, bro? Thank you. Alright, so here's what I got going on. 60, 60, 60, 60. Light cone. 60, 60, 60. Uh, I'm currently working on the traces and the relics, but that's slow going, man. That is slow going. Let me fucking tell you. Let's synthesize some materials. Yeah, traces have gotten a lot better. No need to rush it. Oh, I know. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, so far, I don't have some of these leveled. I don't have some of these leveled. I have a couple of these leveled. I have some of these leveled significantly. Um, just to level them, genuinely. Uh, but you want a different light cone, don't you? That's the wrong... Oh, that's the button I was hitting wrong. Okay. There you are. How about another subathon for potato time? Go fuck yourself. How about that? How about you go fuck yourself with that? No more potato ever. Bad potato. Love that wildfire can just be playing in the background.
Back from the slop. Oh, did Wooly die from slopping? I saw the, um... I saw the spreadsheet. And, um... Bruh. Fucking bruh. Reggie got hurt by the, the Folgers incest commercial? I don't know, it's kinda hot. I mean, uh, don't worry about it. Anyway. Um... Let's do a daily mission. Shall we? A few games of chess will while away the time. Folgers commercial is so fucking tame? Yeah, I know. So, I gotta be honest, um... These dailies... I just kind of fly through them. I just fly through that shit. Huh? Oh, it's in a different zone. Yeah, the Wubbaboo ones are good because it's so stupid. The very stupid. Robots and food. Man, music in this fucking thing is hilarious. It's so good. Have I done the dailies about the obsessed actress? I have. They're great. So, I have my boys leveled up pretty good. Um, um, Ting Yun isn't the best on auto attack, but it's fine. Show no mercy. I'm not too worried about it. Battles are chess games. Oh, I gotta go upstairs. No two are alike. That's not true, though. There are actually a lot of... My numbers are so small. How cute. Give me a break, man. I'm playing the game for weeks. It feels like because I didn't get there, like, a couple days earlier, I'm, like, a full, like, equilibrium level behind. Because you are? Okay. It's an arms race? It's a... It's not even co-op. Like... It's not even co-op, bro. Yeah, it's PvE, bro. Yeah, here you go. Here's the parts. I was a big help. Thank you. I did it. Thank you. You know what's weird? I can't figure out how to achieve this. I think it means with only support characters. I think that's what it actually means. Oh, as in friend support! Oh! Well, that's gonna be fucking easy. That's gonna be real easy. Real, real easy. Character has to do the last hit, too? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I think she did every hit. I think she did every single hit. Well, might as well bust all this shit out. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I still got traces to do for my boy. I need more of the the I need more of the the fucking I need more of the this. Give me them shields, girl. And we'll have we'll have a friend Sele help us out. Thank you. So what's up with you guys, huh? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, what's up with y'all, bro? Hey, Black Krampus kicked in a sub. Thanks, Black Krampus. Americano is the sloppy steak of coffee drinks. Never falters. Americano is a fine cup of coffee. You need to chill the fuck out. Illusions of the past. You need to chill out, bro. Quit hating. Quit the fucking quit hating, bro. Jaded Fox sub. Thanks, Jaded Fox. Appreciate it. Um, am I pulling for the coffin guy? Probably, yeah. Uh, I bet. I bet. I can get, um, enough, uh, Star Jade to roll on Locha. Because my main issue is that. Uh, I know apparently you I would need two teams at some point there's some kind of content in this game that requires two teams um, and Hall of Memories um, I don't have two teams I don't even have the pieces required for two teams like, I need a second healer. I have a second tank, fire tank, right? Uh, but I don't have, I don't have a fucking second healer. So, uh, Locha would be nice. Well, that was fast as fuck. Technically, I do. Get out of town. You don't need two healers? Ah, uh, why not? March 7th is not a fucking healer. Or tank. Shut up. You can use two shielders instead of a second healer. Okay, well, I'd prefer Locha anyway, so shut up. <laughs> All right. Does that work for y'all? Sometimes it's better to also run either one healer or a tank and not both together for DPS reasons. Yeah, sure, I guess. But Geppert built correctly removes need for healer. By built correctly, do you mean built strongly? Because Geppard or Jeppard is uh He's pretty great. He's pretty good. Uh, Geppard needs the energy regen planner ornament. So yeah, I'm still in the process of leveling up my, my gang. Uh, once I have everybody at the, whatever their current max trace and max level, then I will start using my my fancy doodahs on relics, which I currently have not been doing. Uh, I've been using it on, on leveling and materials and shit like that because, well, I want my traces. Traces seem to be giving me the best bang for my buck. Also, Relic seems frustrating. You need know three relic coins each week, right? No. Disappear among the sea. Where do I get the relic coin? Illusions of the past. Where where relic coin? Simulated universe. Oh, I used those. I already used those. So I guess I am sitting on a bunch of relics right now. They are doubly so if you go for optimal sub stats. Oh, oh, I'm not going to. The Okay, when I go, get a relic for my characters, do you know what I'm going to go for? I'm going to go for the main stat. And that's it. That's it. Just the main stat. Going for the sub stats is like a insane person. 
There's no reason to do that. That's too much. It's impossible to do. That's like light. It, that's for the, the psychos that would do light cone farming. Right? You know, like, oh, I'm going to roll in the light cone. Bitch, are you crazy? Bitch, you lost your fucking mind rolling on a light cone? Oh my god, it's not even a cool character. Can't even have dinner with a light cone. I can put my food up here and have dinner with, with Sele and Tingyun and Jeffard right now. Girls get all jealous while I'm kissing on Jeopard. Shut up, hussies. Anyway. I mean, eventually you'll get to the point where there's nothing to use stamina on but relics. So what then, Pat? What then? Then I would actually rather build up new characters. Illusions of the past. I'd rather build up every character in, in my game than <laughs> than grind out substats on relics. Because then I could play different characters. You can't build a full character in a jar, is all I'm saying, bro. Bro, stop that. Illusions of the past. This character is so busted. Like, I actually prefer Jing Wan, but I cannot argue with how fucked Sele is. This bitch is fucking crazy. Crazy bitch. Like, women are always meta. Ain't that the truth? Ooh, that's locked. Hey! My Jeppy! My Jeppy is finished! Thanks for finishing my Jeppy. Now to work on Ting Yun and Nat. Um, let's see if we can level up any of these for more damage. Yeah, the relics I have on him right now are, are fucking, like, fat piss. Like, they're fucking terrible, but, uh, oh, this one has attack. Wait a second. Lightning damage boost. Yeah, that's what I had on him. HP and attack. Two piece. Increases crit. Yeah, I don't know what to I don't know what to put on this shit. What do I want on my boy? Celestial differentiator. Oh, I only need one, huh? <laughs> Crit reaches 100% after entering the battle. Increases by the yeah, first attack. What is my crit, anyway? Crit damage. Oh, 55%. Oh. Well. Do you want to side with a bunch of basic build stuff or not? No, I already have one. Do I have a creator code? I fucking wish! I fucking wish I had a creator code! There we go. Wait a second. I should just take all this shit off and then just put all this shit back on. Look at that. Genius. Big genius. Thanks, video game. Whoopsie, I fucked it up. How are you doing out here, bro? Incredible. It's it's like the video game knows how to do it for me. Alright, let's go to those boots and level them up so that I can, you know. Yeah, let's just feed shit.
Man, these things take forever, bro. All right, I think that's as good as we're going to get right now. I think that's as good as that's going to get. Time to go back to Space China. Wee. A few games of chess will while away the time. That's right, nerd. We. Right, we we're dealing with that little future telling little bastard. Oh no, what happened? What's going on with him? Oh my god. Okay, you guys got this. Don't worry about it. I don't need to play the video game. That's not important. I'm about to hit the quest chain they're going to remove. That's funny as fuck. Got him. Oh, darn. you a lesson ready to lie down now oh I don't have auto advance <sighs> thanks for helping to stabilize the patients your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective they're dead assertive sedation techniques uh, does she mean beating people up she does March However, by the way thanks for the sub Terranax too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. Are you a little young to realign bones? Are you some kind of, I don't know, Chinese myth dragon? Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom either. <sighs> Does not compute. It. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self reincarnating. No mom or dad required. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old show. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. You're a nerd. Bellabog kids are making snowmen, while children here are writing prescriptions. Suck it, Bellabog! Things haven't been very peaceful in the lawful recently. Suck it! Make sure you don't <laughs> go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand, so I'm afraid we have to. Hmm. Well, seeing as you saved me just now. So what's her uh, kit anyway? If require any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. She's a heal? Yeah, no, but what's her kit? She overheals. Interesting. That doesn't sound very free. Ha! Huh. Do you have any idea how many people in the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> Enough of that. She's another lightning character? You. Stop with the lightning characters! Our little miracle worker seems very different. Why everybody trying to do the lightning? Uh, don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the dragon race. Not hard to see why. Young lads dressed in the nines are looking fantastic. Haven't even introduced myself. My name's Jing Fang. I'm the younger brother of General Jing Wan from the Low Fu. Oh, hey, bro. What's up? Hey. 
I see you have an exceptional attitude there, young man. If you see the person who helps the needy, just like me. Never thought I'd meet such an honorable soul. It's a gift from the gods. Chance encounters are far better than plain ones. I, Jing Fang, would like to invite you, lad, to the Sleeveless Earl. I'll even cover 20% of the bill. Blah, 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 blah. Is this how they try to flirt? You trying to suck my dick? Just making friends. Sounds like you're trying to suck my dick. Dear brother of fame general, there's no way I could ever trick you. Don't believe me. Ask around. Jing Wan never mentioned any brothers to me. Also, I am Jing Wan. Ha ha. This just means he doesn't recognize how famous his dear brother is. Jing Wan, you're, you're not the one who's been running around with the Cloud Knights locking up crooks, right? Oh, goodbye. You're very famous. Goodbye. I'm going to run. Goodbye. Oh, don't kill me. All right, that's enough. Get out of here. I need to find the messenger sent by Fu... Fu... Swan. Fu Swan? I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. I'm bad at it. Fu Swan? Do you know how to fix a star scan? Study astrophysics? I'm not a mechanic. Okay, well, you're not helpful. It rains, it pours. The Artisanship Commission has its own issues. It sounds serious, too. Go and inform the Cloud Knights. Why don't you have you a can... face? Oh, my apologies. I'm an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. Judging by your dress, you must be so, to the law foo. MC's probably gonna get a lightning goddamn uh hunt bow, right? I'm a guest. The general invited me. <laughs> and I'm a civil servant. The general hired me. Technically speaking, every traveler aboard the Law Fu is a guest of the general. If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been uh, temporarily suspended. Oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with Probably a not win of Dan. Uh. travel permit. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. The price is fair and negotiable. What do you think? Y'all trying to fucking rip me off? I got uh, my, I got my own boat. You must be quite <coughs> special. Pardon. Hey, don't spread this around, but this isn't some small-scale maintenance drill. The general has sent the Cloud Knights to check for hidden dangers. You may not need it right now, but if there's any help I can give you, come to me anytime. Hmm. Hello, realm keeping official. Everyone, please remain calm. This is an announcement from the realm keeping commission general bureau. Exalting Sanctum is temporarily closing its borders and navigation routes. I like this guy's sentence. The details will be outlined in the official bulletin sent to your Jade Abacus soon. If you feel unwell, please report to the realm keeping commission as soon as possible. Give some with. We have doctors from the Alchemy Commission here who will see you free of charge. Oh, uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency medicine to each of you. You can collect the supplies from me in person, or the commission can deliver them to your door. Hello, give give money. Please register with your Jade Abacus bracelet. Oh, you must be an outsider. Yeah. I see. Please sign here. How's the Divination Commission going, bro? heard there's a problem with their meridian pin. I don't know what that means. Some diviners and stargazers managed to escape the delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about plants and roots. Something terrible must have happened there. Do you have friends trapped in the delve? I don't know what that is. If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. Okay, thanks. Thanks, bro. Thank I you. I want to say it's all in a day's work. Thank I've you, bro. Been here for 12 hours already. When will this end? I did it. Excuse me, fella. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the dragon lady and those exalting sanctum residents got away unscathed. Dra dragon? The dragon lady of the Alchemy Commission, Lady Bailu. You mean the child? She's Dargan. Like yes, indeed, child. just to watch Dargan. Yeah. 
friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General Commission. Hey, thanks for the raid, maybe Falco. Appreciate it, buddy. Lofu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. I got this shit. And a text message. Something happened. I just arrived. Why are you doing what are you doing here, bro? Is the express okay? Is what happened? I'm going to pretend that you replied, I'm okay. It's a long story. I'm a cloud for the cloud night. I'll join you. By the way, the, the train is fine. I'll tell you about it later. I am very interested. Tell me all of the details. What? Huh? I'm doing a fight from a text message? That's kind of weird. If the shipping passages in Cloudford changed even a little, the entire route would be drastically altered. Do you two know the way? I do not. <laughs> I came this way. I know it like the back of my hand. Just follow me. Um, so, silent but deadly, let me know when you're ready and we can set off. Wait, what? Is it pretending that I'm Dawn right now? That's weird. Hey, Lucha. Do you hail from the Law Fu, young master Don Hung? Dude, the coffin's so cool. Yeah. I see. It's fine if you'd prefer not to discuss further. I do often I said yeah. to judge the boundaries of small talk. I hope I haven't offended you. I'd like to ask you something, bitch. Hmm. Please do. What's in the coffin? How do you know about uh, the Lufo Sicilia? What? Nothing. I was scheduled to leave the Law Fu when I heard there was a disturbance. What's in Ms. the coffin? Miss Sushang right? here is a member of the Cloud Knights. You could try asking her. Well, who who is that? Her name is Sushang. She apparently just transferred here from the Yao Qing. Every Senjo ship operates individually, but the Cloud Knights are all commanded by the Marshal. Therefore, it's normal for knights to transfer between ships. I have a request. Uh, tell me about you, bro. Me? Yeah, man. You don't seem like you're from here. Where are you mm. from, bro? Merchants don't belong anywhere. We wander and make the stars our home. But if you're curious, within the Alliance, I'm registered at the Xianjiu Yutre. Within the IPC, I'm registered at the Star Unity Mall branch at the North Valley Star. Therefore, Luo Cha is just the name I use within the Xianjiu. Outside of the Xianjiu, I use something more difficult to pronounce. I'm guessing you want to know that name too. Yeah, yeah, gimme. You're pretty cool for a ch oh, coffin. A story of ill luck. I found myself embroiled in a conflict and ended up owing a favor. Now I must assist in delivering these remains back to the Sienjo. It would seem I am a magnet for such misfortune. I thought I would be safe on the Law Fu. But now you're pretty fight good for for money man the universe is a dangerous oh, place fuck. the ipc oh, and the alliance the end of the week sleepiness our safety during interstellar travel on site security is dependent on our own capacities as such i had to improve my sword play and healing skills you are also a wanderer young master don hung surely you understand Of course. Get out of my face. Hey, girl. What up, girl? Silent, but deadly. Are you sure that nickname isn't annoying you? Silence. I mean, you're kind of living up to the first bit right now. We can move out anytime. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. I'll tell you everything I know. 
How do you know about it sealed off? I heard they found an antimatter legion bomb. Out of safety, they locked down the entire ship. They'll only reopen it after they've removed the bomb. I don't know if all that's true, though. Anyway, the higher ups didn't say anything. They just got me to evacuate the civilians of Cloudford. Have you met this guy? Nope, I met him when I met you. But you know, now that you mention it, maybe I did see him somewhere. He seems a bit familiar. Where would that have been? Talk about you. Me? There's not much to talk about. When you joined, girl? Not that long ago. But I've been receiving strict Cloud Knight military training since I was a child. My parents are both famous on the Yaojin. I wouldn't be here otherwise. They've been training me ever since I was born. Don't look down on me just because I'm a new recruit. Tell me about your chicken, girl. You from the Yao yeah. Gang? Have you been there before? I feel the Yao Is Pat gonna drop this completely when Street Fighter 6 drops? No. I might be a no, I, I actually really now, enjoy the dailies in this. And uh, I am gonna be... Uh, example, since I'm catching up today, to uh, there's no reason that I can't just do the General content is as, uh, reliable as, our Madam as it comes out. 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 etc. Uh, actually, forget about the last sentence. Just pretend I never said it. Okay, bye. Let's go. Haha. -ha. 1.1 1 .1 won't have any story content? Guess I don't need to do that then. Ha -ha. By the way, I want to give a big shout. Oh, hey. Huh? I want to give a big shout what out doing here? to Wooly. Hitting one to year experience. today See these two behind me? on uh, Mass Effect LP. Congratulations, buddy. You can say that again. One year Some of Mass Effect. Some injured by monsters in the vicinity. They only just made it out. I'm taking up the rear. I should be out of here soon. You guys should hurry. Yeah, that's for all three games. Now it's not the time to get distracted. Jesus, where do you want me to fucking go, video game? Move to the left. Oh, I did it. Hey, silent but deadly. Shout if you see any I danger, okay? Don't think just because you know a move or two. <laughs> Kill! Kill! Show no mercy. Witcher 3 is LP poison? Yeah, Witcher 3 is LP poison in the same way that, like, um, fucking Zelda. March's six faced ice. There was a fight here. Oh, yeah. The wheel forged in ice never falters. Witcher 3 is an LP poison. It's just career suicide. Oh, yeah. There will one day be a New Vegas LP. I already did a New Vegas LP. No, two. I did the whole thing. I didn't do the DLC, but I did like all of the, the, the New Vegas. Oh, right. I can't. Oh, you meant a Wooly versus one? Oh. Why can't I see it? Oh, brother. Somebody used the Cloud Ford control panel to block the road with containers. Uh, who did this? Uh, I'm terrible with machines and stuff. You know, it's funny that oh, um. How do you know? I'm a traveling. I merchant. actually. I've been here many times. That asks us as I don't look forward to playing for tech support for that. I actually uh, raised my hand with Wooly many years ago and said, hey, if you ever plan on doing New Vegas, you, let me know and I will walk you through it. Um, and my solution to that 
is to give Wooly an incredibly light mod order. So, like, Mass Effect is, like, fairly resilient in the face of its modding. Uh, New Vegas is not. You want to do New Vegas Anti-Crash. You want to fucking do... Um... You want to do fucking stutter remover. You want to do the community bug fix. Is that the one? Let me see. Um, etc. Sharp eyes. The the four gigabyte RAM patcher, yeah. Um, I would never recommend any content mods for a new player for New Vegas ever. Like, it's- it's just like... <laughs> this is the same man you had to call midstream to stop him from playing the Silent Hill Collection. He's not gonna remember you telling him that. Show no mercy. So somebody said, um, it fucks me up how people praise New Vegas' is a perfect game and you need 59 mods just for it to fucking work. People praise New Vegas' content. And it's world building. Nobody out here is, is saying... Nobody out here is like, dude, New Vegas is like, oh, it's like technical masterpiece, whatever. Uh, you don't need it, but it's, it is a smoother thing. Battles are... No two are alike. Morrowind is a perfect game, someone says. I don't know about that. So is this the filler stuff? Because, like, I'm just redoing an area I already did. When faced with an <laughs> Stuff after this. Oh, I see. Show no mercy. This is just a side quest, but I didn't. What? No, it's not. Forged in ice. Never falters. I didn't... The enemies don't give you anything, so you can walk past them if you want. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. You'll know it's filler when March and Welt disappear. Oh, I see. The wheel forged in ice never falters. Here, this thunder. Show no mercy. Zap. Once March and Welt disappear, you'll notice. Uh, I wish Capcom was not um, being such a downer about footage from the Street Fighter VI. Um, you know, retail copies. I do have some really interesting information about Street Fighter VI that I can share with you. Because I, I, you know, signed all the Capcom documentation for, like, hey man, give me a code. So if you're a streamer and you want a code the day early, uh, you're banned from Capcom Pro Tour for 2023. Right? Um, you're just straight up banned. You cannot, you can't have, you, no. You're banned from all, all official events for 2023 because you got the game a day early. Um, what's really funny, and I mean really funny, is that that stipulation was not on the documentation for asking for a review code. So I guess they figure that game reviewers uh, have no shot at it. <laughs> so if you get the game two weeks early, you can you can perform in Capcom Cup. If you get the game one day early, no, you can't. 
Judging by where it stopped, it must be heading for Central Starskip Haven. Nice. We'll be safe there. Sounds like one side doesn't know what the other one. Yeah, that's exactly okay. what it sounds Let's like. Climb aboard. In we go. I'm standing on clouds. I did it. That was weird. A few games of chess. Well, that was fucking weird as hell. Listen. Always feel like we're missing something at the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery. Never gonna remember what. You came at the right time. Help me rule out some possibilities. What do you think our office is missing? Promo materials? Not that. Where is this for Ching Uh We should get promoted or better promoting realm keeping. Blah, blah, blah. Once you crack a major case, the Ten Lords Commission can't solve. Let the whole exalting sanctum know. Is this the time to be talking about this? Can't figure it out even if I rack my brain. I think I'll play a few rounds of Celestial Jade. Anyway, let's get out of business. What do you want? Uh, do you need my help? Oh, that's right. It, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. My Realm Keeping Commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the dragon. This feels super fucking like filler. thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. On today's work. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Sure. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. Oh no. More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. So they got big wieners? Moreover, the Mara struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. Do you need me to kill them? We wouldn't have the audacity to trouble you with that. The general has a plan to suppress the illness. You're a capable person. And since the general entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of time before you run into Marastruck. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries? So I far? just what? I just started. Oh, I oh, I guess I did. Reads the letter. His expression reflects disbelief. He sweats profusely. He comes back with a girl. Here, this is yours, he said. I... I read the letter. I'll be honest with you. I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the Seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. What about the Allow Seat of Divine Foreskin, am I right? Ching <laughs> ah! General Jing Yuan's chief counselor. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. Item. Mm. I read the letter you obtained from the Mara Struck. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders, tracking down clues on the Mara Struck. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. Okay. You talking about Merciful Medicus? Correct. The term Merciful Medicus is one of respect. One that any law-abiding citizen of the Alliance would never dare utter. It refers to none other than the enemy of the people of the Xianzhou. The one we now call the Plague's Author. The Eon of Abundance. Yao Shi. The author of this letter was likely the Marastruck you defeated. My guess 
is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. The healer he god's up. an asshole? Such actions remind is that why she's so creepy and poisonous in the simulated the universe? Years ago. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus. They were disciples of the abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. It's hard she to heals too that hard? That wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The seat of divine foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the seat of divine foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. So what do I get? Don't worry. The seat of divine foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around exalting sanctum. Maybe you could start there? We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. discovered you are a fresh nuts. face in the Lafu and an outworlder. I would feel more at Thank ease you. if I could leave this matter with you. Thank you. Do I have to give you more of the things? <sighs> Such a serious matter. I'm sorry I can't be of much help to you. The assistance is appreciated. I've got things to talk about. Oh, you don't want to talk to me, huh? Okay, bye bye. <laughs> That's weird that the letter seemed to be the only one that mattered. What's the worst rogue build in the game? The ice one seems fucking terrible. It seems they all matter. You have to choose. Oh. Yeah, the drink one seems really fucking bad. How do I get up there? Oh, I see. Did I finish? Oh, yeah, I finished Kingmaker. I totally beat Kingmaker. I re I reached out to uh, Mandalore to uh, be like, hey, thanks for recommending Kingmaker. And uh, holy fucking shit. Um, uh, the House of the Edge of Time is like the worst final dungeon in any game I've ever played my entire fucking life. Holy fuck. And then uh, that's uh, we were chatting about that. Like, Jesus, Jesus shit-ass Christ, motherfucker. Terrible. Terrible. Just awful. Yeah, after about an hour and a half Culture of the fucking... Visiting here. Do you know why? Fucking House of the Edge of Time, I just turned the difficulty down and just fucking rolled it. It was still awful. Clean to your star skip service? <laughs> Look no further. Who didn't come by today unless he transferred? Who are you waiting for? Orderly. We never should have met, but an ill-fated moment brought us together. Don't get the wrong idea. Don't have anything strange going on. Just I haven't had a chance to see him in a while. Things keep on like this. What's the point of me showing up to work? So anxious. Be patient. He'll be back. Uh. Mumbling weirdo. Guest from another world. Please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? Sure do, brother. I yearn for power. Hmm. I understand. Eternal life is indeed a kind of power, wouldn't you say? Sure is, buddy. I want power. Uh, 
Well, not much can be done for you then, brother. <laughs> what a peculiar person you are. I'll tell it to you straight. To Outworlders, I offer the chance of immortality. But perhaps someone like you would be better off joining the Antimatter Legion. Regardless of what you choose, let's keep our voices down, eh? This isn't the kind of conversation you can have out in the open. Give me the immortality juice. Before you can grasp absolute power, you must yearn for immortality, don't you think? The problem is that the Xianzhou Alliance doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short-life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. I actually think this is an interesting thing. If you lived in a society that had like elves or like Asari who live five to ten times your lifespan and little reincarnating dragons that have infinite lifespans and you have a regular human lifespan and there's any reach to immortality what the fuck you guys doing why you bought why you cock blocking my immortality you guys get to live for two thousand fucking years you get to be a jesus let's make haste there are too many people here to linger here we are this is the place how do i get it uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves if it were so easy we'd be a far larger group and there'd be no need for secrecy allow me to reintroduce myself i am a member of the disciples of sanctus medicus i was unable to expose my true identity in exalting sanctum but now i can reveal everything the disciples of sanctus medicus is a devout group Holding firm in their belief that Calm it down, Ark. is the one. Calm it down. Thing. Sucking all those dicks as will not ours, help you live forever. We refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, <laughs> then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first. Wow, this does really feel like the fucking tribes. story just took a hard right Please turn. Excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. What's the Cloud Knight here? No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. Don't the people abhor the abundance? Ah, only those led astray by followers of the devilish archer could despise merciful medicus. Sadly, there are How is this guy not caught? People. He's just standing out Too in the bad. fucking street going, I love being part of a cult! What can I get from it? Every species yearns for the favor and curing of merciful medicus. I love being a cult, man! Foxians yearn to cure themselves of their 300-year lifespan. The Fidiatera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. As for Sienjo natives, they long to cure themselves of the torture of becoming Mara-struck. Of course, we know that this torture is rather a kind of blessed evolution. To return to your question, Sanctus Medicus can cure the aging that short-life species face. Along with disease and death, Sanctus Medicus can do for you what they did for the Sienjo natives. Give me the juice. What you seek. Give me you the juice. Find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times. I'm not by doing hand. that. This will allow your brothers and not sisters doing it. to trust your faith and you to become a disciple. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course. This is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, I'll oh, just tell me whose ass I got a numerous others. Can I get a pen? Don't worry. A traditional Sienjo brush and inkstone has been prepared for you. 
smooth action, and an ergonomic design. I myself transcribed 50,000 copies with such instruments. Oh my god. Oh, that's a lot. Wait, are you are you serious? Start copying it. Once upon a time, the Thousand Hand Sanctus Medicapopus traveled the world with nine 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 disciples living under Rahu and teaching their way. Your index finger has a cramp. Your shoulders are sore. You've only made the first copy. There's still four hundred. There's no way. There's no. I'm getting a Pepsi. Yeah, I know I left auto dialogue gone. Hand and shoulder are more pain, but you've only done two copies. Sabbath so shall attain enlightenment. Finish the third copy. The sentence has started to reverberate through your being. General Jingyuan's honored guest. That's me, yeah. Jim Yan? Who the fuck is that? Ugh, is this really the time for jokes of that quality? You're here undercover, right? Well, so am I. I'm a cloud knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here, to spy on him. Oh, cool. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. Why'd you come here in your fucking uniform? <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. Hey, you're pretty smart. Shh, keep your voice down. These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. <sighs> you can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen pushing in the seat of divine foresight before I became a cloud knight. I could do this in my sleep. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. I did it. Take your time. Still your mind. And Let's just the jump text. him right here. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousands. Just jump his ass right here. Just beat his ass. To permeate your being. I finished it. I finished it in ten minutes. You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Uh. Huh. Totally. Did. Yes. It would appear you are Nailed finished. It. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. So can I join now? Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. The disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. Whoever survives 
will officially become a disciple. How does this determine anything? Okay, fuck it. Excellent. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus love and I'll kill him, I don't give a blood. shit. Well then, show us what you're made of. Whoa, 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 You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. Loyalty. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm, fine. Fine. But at least let me prepare. I've never done anything like this before. Very well. But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. I, I don't care, man. I'm good. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time is precious. Make it quick. I'm good, bro. I don't, I'm not worried about it. Uh, hey, man. Hey, what? I got a thing here? Oh, I made it a Chivo. Woo. Yay. Hey, dude. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. Yeah. You and I fight. And I lose to you. Yeah. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. Sounds good. That way we both accomplish our objectives. Oh, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up and actually kill me. No, I'm gonna kill you, man. <laughs> good. I knew I could trust you. I'm gonna have the, like, the Aeon of fucking lightning bullshit fucking zap you. So, have you prepared yourselves? Are you ready to fight? Yeah, good. Uh, man, I'm good. Let's do it. You, Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm ready. Then, let's begin. I'm gonna kill your ass and fuck your girlfriend. Well, then, take this! Is that just one guy, really? <laughs> Is it There's actually no just the one guy? Oh, brother. Oh, darn. <laughs> what magnificent skill! He was fierce. But no match for you. Yeah, it was pretty easy. I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convenience. He's clearly spectrum. breathing. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Purple chrysanthemum, blue peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Nah, I got it, man. Oh, well, you've dealt with this kind of thing before? Yeah, I was planning to see if I could get all of my balls in his mouth when he's dead now, because you can stretch it real good, like... Side hustle of mine. I take photos Side and put it up on hustle? Insta. <clears throat> Very well. These are hard times, I suppose. Hmm. This does have its advantages. <laughs> Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devils. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take an active approach to getting things. Yeah, we all know you can't show balls on Insta. I mean, you won't see the balls after I'm done with his mouth. Superiors. In any case. My hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name, Grey Peony. Grey Peony? Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Until then. That's Paige's favorite flower. <gasps> <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? <laughs> Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. I'm not too worried about it. How are you still alive, bro? Wait, you you weren't holding back? Yeah, man. I'm joking, bro. Uh, enough with the jokes already. It's a miracle either of us is alive. 
I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Stay safe, friend. This guy kind of reminds me of like the gate guard in um, in uh, Three Houses. Just like very, very interesting voice performance for an extremely minor role. Cultured people. Love. You'd be a tool to miss Need your extractor clean to your Oh, this area's not available, dum dum. I don't believe in ghosts. I, I think that ambient like town dialogue is so fucking funny. Man, it's like it's like I want to walk by somebody go, oh, and they were roommates. You know. And they were roommates. After some time. How's it going? I've infiltrated it. I'm now a member. You've believed in- you've always believed in me? I bitch, I met you, uh, 20 minutes ago. Did you save a cloud light? Yeah, it wasn't a problem. Wouldn't call it saving. We had a successful collab. Thank you very much. More for your help. We'd have a hard time getting away. Oh yeah. Anything I should focus on? Lunch. There's a cloud naming Zizing who went missing. Figure out if he dead. Okay, I'm gonna figure it out. He dead. He's fucking dead, bro. Green what the hell? I'm just agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. What gifts? I have this like intense brain spasm where I just keep hearing a guy yell swag like Ohio. Gray peony? Ugh, this must be from Green Hibiscus. You've demonstrated how cool you are. Now kill someone. The disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum Psycrane Stamps. Oh, I mean steal mail. I will steal the mail, thank you. I'm gonna steal everybody's Amazon packages. I didn't find them. Mm, not on this stand. Let's check a different one. I'm gonna open someone else's mail. That's a federal crime. Yeah, uh, Wealth and March are here, bro. Like, super weird, all your characters thinking things yourself on March and Walt are just kind of waiting for you to finish. Yeah, they disappeared. They disappeared when the story relevance went away. I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts either, bro. What's written on this package? Seat of divine foresight urgent? This is it. The mail the disciples want to intercept. Hell yeah. Hmm. Seems like it's encrypted somehow. Makes sense. This is critical intelligence, after all. Let's see if I can crack the code. All right, let's crack it. Ooh. What? What, really? Oh. Code cracked. Oh. Huh. It's an internal order from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. That's pretty easy. 
Judging from these urgent instructions, the Disciples are aware of a seat of divine foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. No wonder Green Hibiscus was so eager to intercept us. I'll use my phone to make a copy, and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. Hey, Green Hibiscus, hey, man. You wanna see a picture of my balls? Where are we meeting to show you a picture of my balls? Another surveillance. That's what it looks like when I put a camera at my balls. Do not reply. I want to reply with the phrase "my balls" so bad. Need your extractor cleaned or your start. You'd be a tool. Cultured people love to my balls. I just realized again that Jeppard has like one of those furry backpack tails. <laughs> Don't mention it. I was just doing my job. Mav Moon, this is the reliable disciple I mentioned to you, Gray Peony. Gray Peony, this is Mav Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. What's up, dude? It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. How much can you butch? <laughs> I like this kid. You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? You know, for a medical thing, you sound like shit. I want to get the immortality. Good. Life is a miracle and a blessing. Any futile attempt to forsake it is a disgraceful betrayal. You have been enlightened to the significance of immortality. You have already surpassed those shameful mortals. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You sound like you shit, dude. You will be dude. able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your soul. You will gain unbridled power and freedom. But you sound like shit. The disciple responsible for creating medicinal pellets heard of your exploits. They prepared the prescription for you personally. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary, but others will require you to come up with your own solution. Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. Wait, well, I have, have to make the pill questions? myself, dude? How many other people you got? I don't know. I've heard our members are in the tens of thousands. Wait, and you're all color flower? The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has a flat organizational structure. The head of each area reports directly to the master. I know nothing about what goes on elsewhere. The benefit is that even if our enemies were to wipe out the exalting Sanctum branch, it wouldn't affect our brothers and sisters in other areas. Who prepares this shit? That's sensitive information. I know who they are, but for their security, I can't reveal their identities. It's not that I doubt your loyalty, Grey Peony. It's like I said, security. I'm gonna secure these balls in your mouth. Can I meet your boss? The boss? You mean the master? <laughs> You'll meet them. But for now, there's no rush. All in good time. Keep fulfilling your duties as you have been. With your strength, you'll have an audience with the master in no time. No time, he says. Not even any time at all. Why'd you join though, bro? Do you I'm love immortality? I'm to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor. But I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. I was never able to surpass the final barrier.
that separated me from the martial arts geniuses. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Once I took that medicine, I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. Really? Now, everything You look like a goddamn changed. NPC. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple of Merciful Medicus. How do I say this? Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. Mav Moon, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent. Wait, you you realize this you. during this part Idiot. of the part? What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? I, I, you guys are stupid. I, I have known, sir. I, I witnessed this person slay a cloud knight before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our doors. I'm fucking done. I'm just gonna kill y'all. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. We're in trouble now. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's so funny that green hibiscus is just like this tiny little fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Look, ma, no hand. Not even one hand. Show no mercy. Is that all? Not even a single hand. It's filling in for them? No, it's them, bro. He turned into a bird. He turned into a big bird. I'm supposed to be jacking off? Is that all? Is that is that cannon? Never falters. Oh. Here, thunder. I don't want to. I don't really feel like that. Show no mercy. Yeah. Conflict is pitiless. Oh, mercy of sanctus. Oh, well. Grant me a body impervious to steel. The courage of a thousand armies. A strength of ten thousand foes. Remember the auto blow? I mean, technically, I remember it. I didn't have one. You think you're a match for me? I heard it doesn't electrocute your dick. Your is inevitable. Surrender. That's what I heard anyway. Heard that it will not electrocute your dick. Show no mercy. Jeez. Won't give you a zappy, then why even use it? I don't know, man. I just don't know. Here, Stop zapping my boys. Wow, once I uh increase the trace on uh Jeopard, his uh his goddamn uh, what do you call it? His bullshit got real good. His shields. So Mav Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact with. He joined the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Well, that we was easy. I killed them. Foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. They're dead. It's a success. Yeah, I gotta go there. Oh, cool. Yeah, fuck up your shit.
Hey, girl, I fixed it. Uh, I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. Sure have. So, what happened? Did everything go as planned? Yup. Not sure if you need Nat with Jeopard being his buff. Um, simulated universe is real tough. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, you gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. On top of that, you managed to get out without a scratch. Ugh. I never imagined that your scene would choose the path of evil. You eh. did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the plague's author operates. Using notions of power and life to draw countless people like Jersene away from bright futures. Down a path of no return. Give me the cancer that makes me live forever. I don't give a shit. Give it to me right now. The darkness of the enemy. With this intelligence, the seed of divine foresight will be able to improve its strategy. And for all your efforts, please accept this reward. Reward! Is there anything else you'd like to know about? The reward! Tell me about the current state. The current state. I'm afraid we know next to nothing. We dispatched agents, but they were only able to linger on the edges of the organization. Your operation is the furthest anyone's managed to infiltrate. The Seed of Divine Foresight is still striving to answer one question. Uh-huh. Is this but the resurgent shadow of an organization silenced a thousand years ago? Or... Have they been lurking in the darkness all along? In the darkness. Whatever the case, this sudden reemergence hints at a hidden conspiracy. Mm hmm. It's troubled me deeply over recent few months. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. Did you send a lot of people? Not at all. The disciples' secret letter makes it sound as if we infiltrated their ranks in great numbers. The reality is that only a handful of agents have Well, that means that their the organization. actual organization is really small. And the majority of them lacked the strength you had to make it back unscathed after their identity was exposed. They didn't have the wisdom and good fortune to gain the organization's trust quickly. An agent can't actually consume those pellets of the disciples. Doing so would mean the end of their life as they knew it. The point is... There hasn't been anyone like you who managed to delve into the group's core and obtain so much God, I'm so the best, dude. Tell me about the belief. Thousand-handed merciful Medicus's salvation is a manuscript transcribed from a sacred text. I don't know where the disciples obtained it. It likely consists of fragments of banned works from the Befall era. As I see it, there isn't anything particularly Hey, now that uh, we're listening to this text. boring stuff, you guys ever go on YouTube and watch, like, cyst removal videos? Equally warped perspective. The scripture doesn't have the power to lead people astray. Yeah, they I do know someone themselves. does. Uh, it does feed lies. Yeah, it's gross. And false hope. <laughs> about the prescription that, uh... The guy gave me the prescription you acquired is beyond my knowledge there are a few reliable alchemists that reside in exalting sanctum i'd like to ask you to consult with you watch cow hoof shaving dude this cow hooves are gross you gotta shave them have a clear target for creating an antidote given that the disciples of sanctus medicus has become aware of our operation it's about time the seed of divine foresight reeled in its net. Gant Zero says, I keep hearing the name Dr. Pimple Popper and the name alone disturbs me. Oh, you mean Sandra Lee? If you turn up any details about the prescription, feel free to come back and find me anytime. <laughs> yeah, that's her name. She does not have a board Nothing game. Very well. She does? Wait, she actually does? No. No. <laughs> I 
something really funny about like uh Paige will be scrolling through TikTok and I'll and she'll hear like she'll be on like some fucking um video for like five seconds before s skipping off and I'm like is that mon dragon chiropractic and she's like what seriously you can tell who that is from over there i'm like no i was just curious ah, why hello there anything i can help you with <laughs> hey I, I wanted to find you for drugs Oh, this is official seat of divine foresight business, eh? Then I'll do everything I can to assist you. <laughs> Let's take a look at this prescription you mentioned. I would like to um, mm. uh, make myself into a super villain with this super drug. If this request had come from anywhere else, it would have seemed like a joke. But the seat of divine foresight only deals in the serious. I can't understand this prescription. And I imagine that other alchemists won't be able to make sense of it either. I recommend you go directly to the chief alchemist, Lady Don Shu. Lady Don Shu is renowned for her unique line of reasoning. She's proposed several prescriptions that would have been incomprehensible to us if she hadn't explained the pharmacology. Still, those same prescriptions have always been able to produce miraculous effects. Lady Don Shu is a truly gifted alchemist. All the more amazing given her sightlessness, wouldn't you say? I'm gonna kill her. Lady Don Shu likes to pass the time over at Sinwood Pavilion. I'm sure you'll run into her if you head that way. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her right now. Let's go kill her. I've been looking forward to meeting you. How do you know it's me? You have a very distinct scent. Losing one sense forces the other. Hey, look, that tree's on sharper. fire still. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Can you read it to me? Sure. Thank you. Hmm. A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. Okay. I could hardly happen upon Vidyatara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you. Well, that's not very forward moving. Uh, Skyfaring. Astrum's running a dreamy one day tour. That's where I get to enjoy the luxurious Yanzo of my dreams. Where'd you get these ideas? I haven't even said anything. I don't know if you've met him before, but the Skyfaring Commission has a speed tester. So I hope to, uh, there are too few attendees. Madam Yukong. Madam Yukong. Isn't she the new character? Uh, I mean, I'll go find him in a bit. You're ready, go find him. Fired. Ah, uh, grass. You look. I met her already? Oh, is she that little shithead? I don't even like. No, the other fox lady? Dude, I can't even tell these fox ladies apart. Greetings. Diviner asks, it's about time. Can't go busy now. Hmm? What does that mean? It's just a picture. Oh, you're back. Are we supposed to meet someone there? It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go.
We're back to not having filler anymore. Hurry up, Chingcha. We'll be fossils by the time you're finished. Oh, it's her. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Ching Chue. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. Hello. It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? Mm. <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Oh, uh, hi there. I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guest. Is it because we're weirdos? Is it because March is a weirdo? You don't even know how long we've been waiting. I've been waiting here at least 10 minutes. Uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! Uh, but folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! Uh, so I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Mahjong's oh, like chess in that it has, like, and infinity depth, right? But it's also you? gambling. To show you the real exalting sanctum and introduce you to a true Sam Joe pastime, Celestial Jade. <laughs> Victory! <sighs> now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. I really okay. I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. Listen. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm. Calling, calling fucking chess a solved game is so stupid. For this because so none of you have solved it. Stoked my curiosity. I haven't. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You cl clearly have excellent taste. If you're interested, I can show you how to play. It's great fun. Sure. Mr. Yang, is this really the best time? It's always the best time for gambling, says gambling video game. Ah, uh, look. Is that a... It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo La Fu's prized treasure. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from it, celestial bodies hung. Cool. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. So... How big was it? Oh my Bigger god. Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Herta Space Station? No, that can't be right. Stars Mango Shroomy says, I think the term filler has then lost its meaning in the recent years. The, the term filler used to have an incredibly specific meaning. Filler meant not part of the original source material that was being adapted. This, however, led to weird circumstances in which parts of movies that were new to the, the movie but were not from the book were termed filler, despite the fact that they were mandatory, very important parts of the film. Right? Uh, it made a lot more sense when you were adapting, like, manga or comic books to TV and that you just got to parts where they just made up a bunch of bullshit that sucked ass. I think the, the height, the absolute height of the filler discussion was uh, Naruto. Uh, Naruto and DBZ. Uh, Naruto uh, had, like, just years of filler. 
and DBZ didn't know what to do with its runtime, so you just see guys screaming for like multiple episodes just to stall it out. Technically, any tree in the spaceship fits this description. Those are metaphors. You shouldn't take poetry so literally. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go. Take that! I don't believe in ghosts. Need your extractor cleaned or your start? We're almost there, everyone. Stay close. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. I'm gonna do what I want. You may be the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. I'm gonna do what I want. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention... Please, don't push your buttons. We're just here for the questioning. Huh? We'll leave as soon as it's over. Oh no. Oh, that's actually really simple. Oh no. I did it. I did it. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Yay. Items, hooray. Take that, fuckhead. <laughs> Zap. Forged in ice. Never falters. I'm gonna hit y'all really hard. Get ready for this. Oh. Oh man. Hey, eat this. Conflict is hideous. Oh, they're not even gonna get a fucking turn. Oh, they got one turn. How far have I gotten in Simulator Universe? I've gotten to the end of Sim 5. Battles are chess games. No two are. Uh, Kafka's uh kind of cock blocking me on that one. A diamond in the rough. Like, she gets a goddamn uh, attack buff on every single turn. It's really, really big scary. Oh my fucking god. Oh. What? What? I did it! Yeah, I'm a genius. Big genius. There was more than met the eye. Extremely big genius. It's such a weird area because like there's all this space, but the, the path forward's really simple. Show no mercy. Take that, birds. Battles are chess games. No, no two are alike. Weren't you guys explaining to me the entire point of chess is that every game of chess that could ever have been played has already been played? Ever. What's this thing? 
Oh, oh no. I did it. I'm a genius. Big genius. Biggest genius around. Everyone's jealous. Probably that's like saying every game of SF2 Turbo has been played. Oh man, there's so many millions of trillions of billions of variations, so even between one matchup. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? I don't understand. It's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Really? Hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests. Are you really from the Divination Commission? Chess is garbage and I hate that it need it and I hate it. It needs to stop being used as a sign of intelligence. Chess is probably the greatest game that will ever exist, Go Go Golem. I don't know what to tell you. It's also a perfect, perfect example of easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe something happened? Don't scare me. Master we got chess haters? On her watch. Who the fuck's a chess hater? There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Yeah, you don't care for chess, that's fine, but who the fuck's sitting here hating on chess? What's going on? Great. This gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Chinchilla for messing up once again. A bunch of uncultured motherfuckers hating on chess. That Any interest in the Starship Troopers Left for Dead us. FPS that came out in early access? Dude, Miss I didn't Chinchia, even know it existed until you just said mind, that just now. I take a look? Huh? Oh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. You're still waiting for chess two, dude. Chess two came out. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Oh no! What? No. I did it. Wow, you're amazing, Mr. Yang. You handled that well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate to you. I did it. Uh, anyone here surprised? Anyone if chess is so great, how come Goku isn't in it? He trouble. is. Uh, can't we run around to them for a change? Auto battles dis disabled. Oh, you're new, aren't you? <laughs> you think no poker is a much more interesting game? Conflict. Well, that's because you uh, you are the kind of person who appreciates the meta game more than the game. <laughs> poker has a way more intense meta game than fucking chess does. <laughs> Like a huge, huge proportion of poker is staring at people and figuring out if they're full of shit or not. Guess what they are. Follow my charge. Is that all? Show no mercy. Oh, that was not very scary. I should stream chess. I don't know, I'm not very good. I play really aggressively. How would a game of poker go if everyone could count cards? Do not they use like... Like you don't even need to see your opponent's folded cards, right? Oh, 
Show no mercy. I'm okay. Like when you when you're playing Texas Hold'em and you fold, your your opponents don't necessarily even need to see the cards that you folded with, correct? Here, this thunder. Because, like, if you can't see the cards that get played, then you can't count cards. Blackjack, you always see everyone's cards, so you can count them. Um... But even then, card counting at Blackjack I'm tends sorry, to use multiple Knights people. Have orders from the master divine. Like, the, the, the proper, really run the house card counting Blackjack is every single person at the table is working together to count the cards. A diamond in the rough. I commend. Die. Oops, I missed. That's how you get banned from casinos, dude. That's how you get fucking murdered. <laughs> like. Show no mercy. Like, fuck, get, fuck getting banned. Banned is the good, is the good one. We have forged an ice. Never falters. I am a terrible poker player. Battles I am, chess games. oh boy, the I am a bad poker player, dude. I am so awful. I don't have a good poker face, and I'm too aggressive. Hey, you know what? Hey, maybe this is this is controversial. Maybe I think wearing sunglasses to play poker is absolute bullshit. I think that is cheating. I think if there's, I think if there's, there's one person at the table wearing, like, you see these guys, they're wearing, like, sunglasses and, like, a baseball cap. And you're like, Jesus Christ. Like, everyone should be forced to wear them or no one. It's ridiculous. A enormous part of playing poker is reading the intents of the other players. If you're intentionally trying to hide your face, you're you're being an asshole about it. It's my current level, 45 and 60, depending on what you're asking. Yeah, just we might as well wear masks. If you're gonna wear masks, then you might as well fucking play it digitally. Having a poker tournament in person is about reading your opponents in person. Like, come on. This is the Matrix of Prescience, a large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. I like when Kim K <laughs> wore reflective sunglasses as an attorney. Abacus I did not hear about that. That's really now. funny. Would you mind explaining lady, what it is, Miss Lady, come on. A Jade Abacus is Come just... on. A Jade Abacus. <laughs> <sighs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. The book glimpses into the beyond, describes it as living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. This sounds like a pile of shit. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into What about the guy who played in Evo pools with the cardboard box around his fight stick? Doesn't matter. Your eyes are never ever 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 Some going to be on the small enough to stick beside you. Bracelets and jewelry. We put the bigger ones into instruments and You play pad and you'd never so be able to tell anything on pad. And learn from the past. Take the matrix of prescience here as an example. What as is funny is that if you do a side to side cabinet, what you can do is you can roll out fake supers. The metabolism of living things. Like you roll out a fake super and just don't hit the button and then see them react to the super that didn't happen. It's fun. 
The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. What would I stream if I couldn't stream video games? Fucking your mom! So the computers. Uh, probably board like games. It, but Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from news. Huh. Even in Madame Herta's space station, I never saw anything related to news. Anyway, I can't see uh, the um, as long as the machine works, I can't see the uh, video game streaming content creation computer. thing dying now like we had a that batch of bullshit with Nintendo and Ubisoft and all them no being like it's like piracy like We're five six years ago and all the They're crackdowns on it just way. caused them to like lose money directly like video game streaming is the number one form of video game advertising that exists It, it is part of the system now. Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the Heaven and Thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. How's that for a Divination Commission fortune? The Matrix of Prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, the Seer, the Boundless Omniscient, Bringing luck and avoiding misfortune. Wait, hold on, hold on. Suit. IGN hyped up fucking faux masters. What the fuck is faux masters? Foam stars. Wait, are you saying that foam stars got canceled? The thing got announced like two days ago. You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. Go Go Golem says, IGN hu hyped up fucking foam stars right before it got canceled. Are you saying that that game got canceled? The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no I don't think it got canceled. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stella, they never artists, said got canceled. I'm looking at it right now. The seer. As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? IGN hyped up fucking foams, foam masters, and then like at 1844, Coco Gom says right before it got canceled. It's right there. Oh, you got got? You got trolled? Ah, oh, you got owned. You got owned. Look, help has just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Yeah, I'm gonna kill everything. Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. Why'd you say it like that? <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Chinchua is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. I thought you were going to have us kick the fuck out. I was waiting for the Matrix of Prescience to resume operation so that you might gain insight into my divination techniques. It was rude of me to keep you waiting so long. No need for the formalities. 
We heard what the general said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well, then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience's space terminals. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. I can do that. I can kill. Uh, but I don't know anything about that. Xing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... Psst. <clears throat> I hath divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. Forever. Just say the magic word. What? Which magic word? Please. Uh, the universal one? Please? Oh. Uh, please. Owned. Oh, good enough. I do like errands, actually. I'm gonna get in there. What? Shifting is a teleportation. Okay, it's a bu okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna teleport. I did it. I fucking did it. Well, that was easy. Yay! Oh, sick! Die! <laughs> this area is big. Cool. Think there was a challenge box guard around here that fucked you up? Really? Hit him with your zappies. Excellent. Why would you do that? That's so annoying. Oh, fuck. Uh, no. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm a genius. Oh, I'm so fucking smart. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, space anchor. Wait, I'm I'm lost. Oh fuck. Oh, oh man. Oh no. Oh shit. I'm a fucking genius! Wait, what? I was supposed to go... Oh, I think I have to do these in order, maybe. Maybe. Seems like I might have to do that. There's a lot going on here. Oh, thingy. Nailed it. Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. Observes the potential of the temporal plane. What? They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information uh, related to time. Uh, uh, what? I... Well, it's not so hard. Shapes. Do it. 
one down. I made a triangle. What? You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Don't you think? Huh, if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? That's a great question, March. <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. Damn. Everybody getting owned out here. I commend you. <laughs> here, this thunder. Die, please. <laughs> Stop hurting me. Conflict is vigorous. Show no mercy. Could March solve these puzzles? I don't think so. I don't think so, man. I don't think. Ice. Thanks, Jerper. Never falters. Is that all? <laughs> Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> Yay. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. Oh my god, shut up, dude. Here, Jeppy time. Jeppy time. Look at all these puzzles, bro. Oh, well, that's... It's kind of easy, isn't it? Oh my... Oh, no, it's not easy at all. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No. I did it. No one's ever been smarter, ever. Oh shit. Show no mercy. Damn. Getting beefed up there, Jing. Get beefed and caked up, bro. What the? Uh. Right? But. But. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna do it! Goes a long way. Fucking did it, yay. <laughs> cool. Die. Brain is going very fast, everyone. Extremely big, fast brain. No one has ever thought more faster than Pat. A wheel forged in ice never falters. Oh, more. Mm. Show no mercy. Stop that, please. We make a pretty good team.
Okay, wait, what am I doing? Cannot. Okay, so this is the right way. Got it. Got it. You guys kind of fucked lightly with first tier zero, and now cash tier and tier zero. What the fuck? What does that mean? That is totally baffling shit you were saying. Y'all just making up shit. Y'all just making up Yu Gi Oh shit. You making it up. <laughs> What Street Fighter character am I the least enthused by, uh, and why? Hmm. I think the... I think, um... I think all the new cast is really interesting. Um... If I had to, I think Luke, even though I don't like him, I think he's a putz. I think an MMA fighter is cool, and I think that his game plan is really cool. He's a, he's a good, like, attempt at a new player one. I just hate his guts. Um, but, um... Show no mercy. A delicate operation. I think the new cast is really strong. Uh, if I had to pick one person, like if you had gun to my head, remove one character from Street Fighter 6 right now. <sighs> Honda? Maybe? Just, I look at Honda and I'm like, whatever. Why, why Honda? Yeah. Honda doesn't do it for me, man. This must be the Karma Terminal. They say this terminal is designed to establish the causal relationships between objects. That's not what Karma is, but okay. Um, okay. Wait, what? But... It's impossible, you can't... No, oh, no. Oh, oh. I, I, oh, I did it. I did it. I'm smart. That's how it's supposed to work. Done. Next. Easy. Sudden hankering for a giant amount of cheese. What's up with that? Come on. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to eat cheese, bro. You ever eaten a big pile of cheese? Like your wife's out of town? And you're just like, no one can stop me. No one can stop me from eating this cheese. Yeah, me either. Me either. I don't think Paige will stop me from eating cheese. Yeah, she has stopped me in the past. One time when Paige was out of town. 
I walked to the grocery store and bought like a, a brick of brie and came home and just ate a brick of brie. And then I felt sick. But it, it seemed worth it when I was doing it. It seemed really worth it when I was doing it, but it probably wasn't. Like, it's, you know, it's just one of those things. It's just one of those things that you're not supposed to do. But then you do it and you're like, yeah. Mm. These are life lessons you can pass on to your child? Yeah. Hey, kid, listen, I know it looks like you want to eat all that candy, but it'll be too awesome, and then you'll you'll think about eating the candy a lot. And you'll never get to eat all that candy ever again, so don't don't set yourself up for, for disappointment later. Here is thunder. Like, I remember my parents were like, we came home from like, um, goddamn fucking Halloween. And they're like, don't eat too much candy, you'll spoil your dinner. Right? And then all three kids just, we just gorged ourselves on candy. Like, until we were sick. And she was like, see? And we were like, no, it was awesome. It was super worth it. It did not, like, the, the, the lesson was not taught according to what they thought would, would happen. <laughs> Show no mercy. That's better. <sighs> A will forged in ice. Never falters. Sounds like Paige right to save you from yourself, you cheesy fool. Don't judge. You're judging. Stop stop it. Stop it. Fuck. <laughs> hey, kind of free slash eerie kicked in a sub. Thanks, kind of free. Thank you. Appreciate it. A delicate operation. Says, uh, fun fact, Ed's name was entirely a mistake. His name in the concept art was Boxer's ED, because he appears in Boxer's Ending in SF4. One of the design leads mistook that for his name, and the rest is hin history. By the way, fuck that blonde bastard. I like Ed. I think the idea of somebody with psycho power that turns into a massive fucking piece of shit, because... Boxer is a massive fucking piece of shit is is very endearing I think his hoodie design is a million times better than his default though Like a million times better. Come on. Not a big fan of his control scheme, though. Like his weird hold the button thing. I thought that was like kind of. Hey, what's that big fat robot doing there? Oh, what the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the C and Joe. It's an aromaton. It's guarding the Matrix of Prescience. They're stationed at various strategic places. Uh, I feel like it needs a sign saying "Mortals Forbidden" or something. Are you sure it won't fly into a rage if we walk past it? We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the Matrix of Prescience. Friends, not foes. Passage prohibited. Oh, darn. Uh, March, 
You should join the divination commission. Quick, do something. I'm gonna fuck it. We're in trouble now. Are we? <sighs> Show no mercy. Conflict is pitiless. Sanction mode, huh? Oh, don't hurt my boy. Yeah, suck it. There you go. Show no mercy. I should check its skills, because sanction mode's a fuck. Alright, let's take a look. It doesn't say. Sanction rate increases when you use the skills or ultimates. When it reaches its level cap, enter sanction mode, and summons a trance and genium illumination dragonfish. I'm just gonna hit it. Time for a shot. <laughs> Follow my charge. Oh, it doesn't increase. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, well. Not too worried about it. So does anybody know how the the clubs in Street Fighter 6 work? Because I would ideally wish that it worked like uh like clans or whatever it was in Monster Hunter where you sign up and then you get to see where everybody is online and then you can go down to like, you know, you can all decide, "Oh, we'll go down to this lobby." And fucking Wait, do it the there. Terminal is energy related. I think that would be really uh, radical. Spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. I did it. The Twitch extension multiverses head was cool. Uh, I hope uh, Street Fighter 6 gets that. Uh, Street Fighter 6 doesn't out. need that. Street Fighter Let's 6 says, hey everyone, room. I'm in this lobby. Come to the lobby and line up. You know, like, it, it doesn't need the, like, <laughs> multiverses didn't have the, the, the fucking lobby system that, that Street Fighter 6 had, so, didn't need it. There are genuine guilds like in WoW's later expansions of the uniforms you set and get and you have what's basically a clan chat and private lobby. That's incredible. That means all of my shitheads can uh, join the Pat Stairs. We should have a CSB lobby instead of a Pat Stairs at or Wooly versus lobby. There's no need to, there's no reason to split those two groups unless there's a, a cap. forged in ice. Never falters. We need a react stream, everybody's freaks. There probably is a cat. Oh, that's always a bummer. How we go to war if there's one homogenized group? I'm mean, gonna be honest, Wooly's players are gonna be mine. Those are systematic cap of 500, but the preview in the club system didn't have any. Here, it's thunder. 
I mean, should we have separate lobbies? I don't know. It just seems like you'd get more matches if... Well, wait, can you join multiple clubs? Because if you can join multiple clubs, then yeah, I have two. Fuck it. Right? Is that it? <laughs> is that all? Conflict is pitiless. Got it. Oh, that. Oh, R really? That was a formidable foe? I wasn't even looking, bro. I wasn't even looking. Take that. Well done, all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient symbols re-illuminating. Now, to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few impacts. Are you ready? You enjoy multiple clubs? Oh, is there a video? Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> is this really necessary? Damn, I bitch, your tits I are fat as hell without with your you. coat. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Wait, her eyes are, are please, contacts? Diviner, witness my destiny. Dude, her eyes look way better without the contacts. Expecting. I can't believe it. But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. Yeah. What'd you what uh what you what'd you see? Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you it's you. It's me? Ha! <laughs> Absurd! Ah oh, crap. I'd never have thought it. What happened? Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the general. Why didn't you just tell me? What the fuck? You go ask her. You to it. You have a I voice to use more often. For Kafka yourself. Items. Oh, she's just floating. Hi. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. It's I've been playing for three I'm weeks. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. You don't look like you're in a starry state of mind. Really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to affect your image of me. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. We're not alone. Like There's like 10 people here. Think. You seem to have a lot to ask me. What'd she see anyway? Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip 
in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? Yeah, okay. Sanjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Okie dokie. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General, presumably to inform him of this fact. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo mm. Alliance to know in this moment. Okay. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> if the Stellaron hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? I don't know. Blade's cool, though. We're here for you. For us? Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescians. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. Oh no, we've been dancing <laughs> to the tune to of the her Lafu's strings. In person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That wow, way. this feels like I'm going to hit a to be continued At very moment. soon. Critical moment. The Sienjo will offer you their help. What do you think? Surprise? The notorious Stellaron hunters did all that just to make I got you like 2 a hours like really? The Sienjo? <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? What is this future you're talking about? <sighs> like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. Cool. It will be a brutal struggle of eonic proportions. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know. Even eons can be killed. Meanwhile. 
on the other end. Hey, Lorcha. Hey, you didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going. It's interesting. So, eons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Xianzhou? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Isn't destroying the Eon Yaosha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. Can you even read? In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Yeah, that's a cool question. What's show me is oh, in the this box. One. <laughs> it's a casket, more commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. And that's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star skiffs and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyadara, they're more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. When the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. My mom calls the Vidyadara Long Scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyadara could turn into dragons. And I don't know if that's true. Only special ones do dragon. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. Your mother is right. The Vidyadara are Long Scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all. Oh, he's a dragon. Turned into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance. He's a dragon. Passed down only to those who could successfully complete. Oh my God, he's a dragon. And challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or. Curse. Don Hong, are you a Chinese oh, myth dragon? That's I've a good question, Disco. Of long the permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. It is Chinese myth dragon. It's limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal and will Am I a lucha guy? Yeah, he's cool, man. End of their lives. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? Huh. 
Yes. Friend? No. So, uh... The sweetheart? <laughs> oh, miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. Interesting. Oh, I'm me. I'm I'm back to me again. I'm back to cold cold dragon. Can't change character. Arr. But I want to. He's cool. Okay, these... Oh, I can't do anything. Let me through, or I'll go through you! Wow, this does feel like fucking slow motion. But I just want to see... Oh, he's so cool. I love him. Oh, he's so cool. Receive divinity. Oh. That seems really good. That's pretty good. I want that. Mars I want Dark. that way more than Silver Wolf, bro. Like someone's hurt. Wait. Let's think before we act. No, attack. <laughs> Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> That girl looks too what unique. To us letting you handle it. I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. I think it sucks that. I can't even control Locha. Laucha. Whatever his fucking name is. Right now I'm like... I'm slowing it down just... So I can see his cool ass shit. Do it. Do the move. The dead will return. Attack now. So that doesn't heal. What it does is that it removes all buffs and hurts. Receive divinity. That which is seized must be repaid. Wait, whoa, what? What would th what'd he just do? You're not going anywhere. He made a lifesteal? That's pretty good. Miss, are you okay? What do you think? Sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. Cyborg. The motor is broken. I can't move. Are you a cloud knight? Good. Take me to the realm keeping commission. I, uh. Locha, silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. 
As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. Eh. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady. Why is this character's face so oh, obscured? Just, she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. Hmm. Huh. That's weird. Curious. How... What kind of medical knowledge is this? Abundance. Hmm. Hmm. Very cool good. robot. We uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice leave as soon as possible. I came to address but the why? root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. I bet they look really Had cool. Been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. Strange accident? <sighs> Come with me. Kai. Huh. I've never seen anything. Oh, like it's it. one of them fucky trees. Meanwhile, you know, even eons can be killed. How? Is it so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeranth the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm? These names were once known all over the universe. And now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Okay, that makes sense. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. So, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. Why? Wait, how'd the Propagation die? They seem cool. After the disappearance of Long the Permanence, Tazeranth divided the Eon's path. In the process, Tazeranth became a new Eon, known as the Propagation. My understanding is that Tazeranth, or Imperator Insectorum to some, didn't last long. When the swarm disaster began to take hold, Tazeranth was attacked and killed by multiple eons. Kind of overstepped their fucking what bounds, do you huh? Think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. 
What about the third way? Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. Ah, oh, crap. Trees. They hate those here. Oh, fuck. No, it's a tree. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, no. Oh, hey, dude. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> oh, he's cool. Did Kafka escape? Yeah, did you not see that? How are we going to explain this to the Master Diviner? I don't know, LOL. If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. Hey, did she brainwash you? A little bit. Oh, I got a fucking thing. Oh, I got Shivo. Yay. All right, let's roll. Hey. Oh, no, the tree looks cool as fuck. Everyone's mad about that for some reason. Even though it's cool as fuck. Oh, hey, girl, what up? Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky. Maybe they put poop on it? Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes, the Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Okay, let's go stab it. I'm ready to stab it. Oh, hey, guys. Wait, you guys are just chilling here? The diamond in the rough. There are a bunch of monsters just like 10 feet behind you. All right, whatever. Oh, it's safe here? Oh, weird. Wait. What? Where, where's the oh, bird. Oh, fuck. Nailed it. <sighs> Super easy. Trivially easy. Come on, Side Crane, you can do it. Oh, you're going back here? Oh, I see where we are now. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna... Darn. <laughs> Can't believe the birds really are government robots. Isn't it funny? Show no mercy. <laughs> Man, I really... Is Lao Cha wind or is he imaginary? Never falters! He's imaginary? Fuck, dude, I want that character, bro. Is that all? <laughs> Here, the thunder. <laughs> Next banner will also have imaginary four star and one with silver wolf. Yeah, but silver wolf uh your design doesn't do it for me. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. <coughs> Fucking shit. 
Nailed it. What was that? Don't worry about it. Oh, thanks, Ozzy. Hey, guys, what's up? Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lofu. Mastelleron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called disciples of Sanctus Medicus. That shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You, General, when did you have? Are you supposed to tell the future? How do you even ask these the stupid questions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Cienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? Because I need to get fucking buff! That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Let me just kill it. Am I coming up with a plan again? Just course, let me in there, I'll fucking I'm sure kill you it. Have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Hmm. As ever, the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? <laughs> it won't. Please, Duh. Lady, I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? I'm gonna kill it. Listen up, we got a situation. Oh, that massive tree has suddenly sprung to life. It's my fault. I'm gonna put I my dick in that tree. Of the general. And it'll die. Please. We can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Take that. Since when did we run out of people on the Lawfu? 
You... Why are you staring at me? I nut herbicide. Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. Yeah, you fucking nerd. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Delve. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Okay. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Payment, or I'm going on strike. Understood. Understood. Were we not? I know how to repay a favor. A Sienjo has met with a dramatic chain of events, and each of you has chosen to stand by us. Your fearlessness moves me. Nevertheless, the enemy is upon us, and time is of the essence. Let us not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow over more pressing matters. Pay me, though. Once catastrophe has been averted, we shall discuss this in greater detail. Pay me now. Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty-bound. Money now. Money now, though. Mm. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Sienjo is difficult to define. Uh, Kafka's gone. Sorry about that. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. Are you, are you really going to lead forces? From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sienjo's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron spirits may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. I mean, I probably, yeah. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using... Oh, I see now why advantage. that side quest series was I included in the main story, so that we actually know who the fuck Sanctus Medicus is. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. Okay. I'm gonna kill that tree. I still have important tasks from the general to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. That's bullshit. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? 
I'm sure well, we'll said. be fine. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. Are there so many scenes of Welt just not being in the shot? It's so fucking weird. So many scenes where Welt is just not physically present. Fuck yeah, that was completely by accident. One hundred percent by accident. Fuck yeah. There was more than met the eye. Oh, nothing here. All right. Also, totally by accident. That's fucking funny. A diamond in the rough. Look at all the people gathered here. <sighs> Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Star's gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. Maybe they're here to welcome us? <gasps> that's it! First you arrive out of the blue, then the general recruits you to the cause. It's like the stories where Imperial heroes bring salvation to the world. Still, it doesn't look like they're rolling out the red carpet. We might be getting ahead of ourselves. The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots. You get the picture. I don't. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. When do we get the freaking guns? Oh, the tree's getting all fucky in here. Cold uh, indifference. Another locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sanjo as the Divination Commission. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet thousands of light years away. The general gave. Let's break the law. Are you gonna be this enthusiastic when it's jail sentencing time? I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider Fine. like Chun Chu to guide you. 
It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. Whatever. Hey, apprentice. Give me a way in. Are you guys cloud knights? Are you here to save us? Kinda? Your clothes. I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Well, fuck you too, bitch. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. I'm a knight in shining armor, bro. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the general invited you? Is that a joke? The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? What are you doing? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. But what happened? There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? Hmm. All right, get out. Is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Research data? Is research data more important than life? Mm. I just heard him shout, It's gone. We lost the furnace. By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us. Right? Yeah. One hundred percent. The general sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, uh, take this jade seal with you. Yes. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him. I don't like don't worry, Space China sir. as much as Space your Russia. safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. I don't think it's quite as good as Bellabog. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? Just get me in there, bro. Cool. The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. That is cool. That. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. All right, let's fucking roll. Suck it, robot. <laughs> Show no mercy. Owned. Suck. Huh, this is a lot more linear than usual. Upon commission grounds, your feet do tread. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead. Stay away. If you come any further, I'll not spare. I like this guy. He's cool. 
I like him. <coughs> Hold on. Let us explain. We're not. What excuses do you have? Surprise me. Just passing by. Stumbled in. Don't oh, fuck open. off, really? Within commission. Rounds today was so. An evil spun by hands unseen. No. No longer. If the security mechanisms didn't teach you a lesson. I'm sorry, I was too fast. Golden Cloud Toad. Illumination Dragonfish. <laughs> Are you all right? Wake up. I raise you like my own flesh and blood. <sighs> did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want Yeah, I did, bitch. Your fish attacked you didn't me. You want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you, and you started a fight for no reason. Are you Gongshu? Uh, how do you know my name, child? Does the reputation of Gongshu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? No. Uh, this guy's pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gongshu. R really? The General sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession, the Creation Furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots, it was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away. Knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. We're short on time. Where are we going? Who are we fighting? <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment aid my plight. <laughs> Come. Come on, <laughs> through here. When do I get the frickin' guns? Ooh, evil plants. Wait, hold up. There's stuff over here, bro. Oh, there's not that much stuff, actually. Oh, there's actually nothing. Oh, now, now it looks stupid. Look, this is one of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes. The Shifting Screen. <laughs> Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The Shifting Screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen... <laughs> Wouldn't understand. Whatever, it's a teleport. Let me in. Indeed. With limited range and energy costs aside, to every star skiff soon shall woe be tied. You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither, but through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled, the shifting screen entangled vents and coiled. <laughs> Thanks for the colorful explanation, bye. Hold on. Have some faith in me. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Ah! Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong? Your match and more in strength to meet ere long. 
sets up the equipment hastily. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. I invented this weapon for the cloud. That's not what it said. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range, energy costs. Well, tell me to shut up. <laughs> Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the tree demon. And then... Ignite. Fire beats wood. There's no way we can lose. Okay, burn it. What the fuck? Why are there so many of these mechanics? <laughs> Is this not what I'm... Oh, adjust them to simultaneously break all targets. Are there not only two targets? I did it. I killed it. Yeah, I didn't understand why it wasn't popping. Very good. The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it. You're much better than my useless students. What's happening? Is the delve collapsing? Wow. Nah, it's fine. Oh, seems like it worked. That tree demon must be writhing in pain. <laughs> All right, there's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. We. Nailed it. Wait, what? Can I? What? I can't go down there? What? Oh, oh, I'm stupid. Oh, don't worry about the fact that I'm stupid. Don't worry about that. What are you? Oh, you're big. You're big I as command. fuck. Why did she bo boost Jeopard? Don't know. I don't know. This ends here. Well, that was good timing, wasn't it? Oh, sanction's not gonna work because the 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 robots are already here. I see. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Pop, pop. Is that all? Oh, I put my guy back. Welcome, Custom. Yeah. This ends here. 
There's no time to lose. So he doesn't. Oh, okay. I see what's happening here. Hope you're Follow my charge. Okay. This ends here. There's no time to lose. There we go. A thousand wonders to raise your finest one. Zap. Oh darn. Hope you're prepared. Stupid birds. In the name of land, a will forged in ice. Never falters. Follow my charge. Here is thunder. Let's be friends. Naughty Zap. No, don't do that. Don't do that either. Aw. Is that all? Is that Conflict is pitiless. Yay. Got him. A diamond in the rough. Huzzah. I got an achievement for it. Because I'm so smart. A diamond in the rough. Stop saying that, man. Hmm. Oh, look, the ambrosial arbor's roots. Oh, they've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace. Help me, dear young friends. Let's hack them away together. We can't let the roots punch through the furnace. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Ooh, a cutscene. Careful, it's changing. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that cool dog. Whoa. What kind of monster is this? Miraculous! It creates life at will. Such incredible power. We're in trouble now. I don't have shit that'll bust this. Time to just hit it real hard. Huh. Here, the thunder. This ends here. In the name of Lent, no, you're not getting those. Never falters. Guarding the Ambrosial Arbor's roots and the furnace. What? There we go. Take that, you dumb deer. In the name of land, will forged in ice. Never falters. Welcome, customers. <laughs> I see that. 
won't heal it. No, it will. Um. No matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. Okay, I was wondering. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's not happening. Wonder the Sienjo is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Miss Ting Yun, are the longwave species on the Sienjo all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Sienjo don't have abilities like this. Huh? As long as it's there, we can't get any closer. I wonder... The Evendeer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Oh, you mean like the engine? Let's just kill it! Are you listening to Mr. Yang? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. I just want to hit it. So the general asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, the Artisan Ship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the tree demon appeared. So let me hit it, bro. So Twitch is saying I can't donate bits here anymore. Do you know if that's a me thing, a you thing, or a Twitch thing? Is anybody else able to donate bits? Show no mercy. Is that it? Nobody else donated bits today. I hope it's not a me thing. That'd be a pile of shit. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. Young friends, I have a suggestion. What? It's probably some kind Any of payment processing error. It's temporary. Hmm. When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Oh, great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. The way I notice that. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet that which clasheth needeth hands to make. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Maybe, uh, let's kill it. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting screen with fire? I do. Oh, you're right. Those roots never grew back. Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground. Okay. I'll gladly kill all this nature. I will litter it to death. A lot of robots in this immediate vicinity. I'd like to burn- oh, thank you, Artarius the Trench Fighter. Very appreciate your attempt to test the bit scenario. Yeah, bits came through just fine. Huh. Oh, that's where I came from. Oh, cool, Mike. So it says, have my test money, you fuck. Don't know about the... The the feeling on that, but appreciate it nonetheless. Stop that. 
forged in ice. Never falters. Zap. You know, because they are robots, I'm hitting them very, very hard. With my lightning. Show no mercy. Is that all? Don't imprison my boys. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Zap. Got him. All right. Let's focus on burninating the village. All right. So what I realized, it has to start from the balls. How many we got? One, two, three. Doesn't seem to quite line up right. Fuck. That should do it. Huzzah. And it's like, ow. See? My theory Bruh. was correct. Keep going. Hey, I see a thing over there. I see it. Oh, I can't get in. Darn. Zippity zap. Oh, interesting. That's... Uh... Oh, bro. Oh! Okay. Fuck. How am I liking the game so far? A lot. I'm playing it pretty much every day. Yeah, Path of Abundance seems like basically big ol' space cancer. It's like, it'll grow forever, just like big cancer. Yeah, kind of like a friendlier Nurgle. No, I would never look at Leaks, Sleepy Stardew Farmer. Because Leaks for games are against the TOS. Except for Capcom. Capcom doesn't do shit. I, I, I gotta say, uh, I'm obviously Battles very biased because I've Not worked with Capcom and Capcom has like paid me like significant amounts of money in the past as well as giving me like, like <laughs> early games. So I'm like obviously very biased. But even before I did any influencing work, Capcom was probably my favorite developer. And they're definitely my favorite dev to actually, like, talk about and work with. <laughs> like, could Capcom have been way nicer to me and send me a Street Fighter 6 review code, like, over a week and a half ago, like some people got? Yeah. Yeah, they could have. That would have been chill. Um, uh, am I taking it personally? I, uh, a little. Uh, does that mean I'm gonna be mad about it? Uh, no. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. Cool Mike goes, did Wooly get one? I don't think so. Um, I'm not sure. I wouldn't know. Uh, but uh, let's be honest. If Wooly had a Street Fighter VI review code, he would have canceled every stream for this week and next week. And he would have just said, I'm working on something.
Like I, I remember uh, when Devil, when I had a Devil May Cry 5 review code, I streamed like my normal schedule, but like it was like exactly four hours to the minute every night. Because I would just fucking stream and then be like, okay, <sighs> Devil May Cry 5. Oh, this is interesting. Nailed it. Genius. Huh? Purpose of this questionnaire is to collect feedback about hexanexes. What's your gender? Can't be defined, bitch. What's my age? Older than 500. Do you know what a hexanexes is? Don't even recognize the first word. Hexa. I can't even say it. How did you come to know about it? Saw it next to the road. How difficult do you think? Very hard. Waste of time. Waste of my precious time. Oh shit. Fuck y'all. What's my favorite Capcom game? That's really hard. There's a lot of really incredible Capcom games. Like there's... There's a lot of really incredible Capcom games. There was more. It's FBI. Resident Evil Two, fucking Third Strike, um, RE4 remake, DMC Five. I think my favorite Monster Hunter is still Monster Hunter for you. I can't really tell you why either. Battles are chess games. No two are. Like I just remember having the most fun with Monster Hunter for you. Wait, what? Oh. Birdie, let's roll. Let's fucking go, bird. Sure. 
You can do it, birdie. I love you. Give it. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I remember getting a new 3DS specifically for the analog nub in, um, fucking Monster Hunter 4U. Was it 4U? I think it was. You hate the nub? Yeah, I hate the nub too, but you know what I hated more? My hands being crippled. The hands being murderously crippled. That Circle Pad Pro was a piece of shit. Okay. Die. Show no mercy. That's better. You know, modding a PSP joystick in instead of a nub? That's cool. A wheel forged in ice never falters. How's Jing Wan? Does he feel stronger than Sele? No. But he's cooler than Sele. He does feel insanely busted, just not stronger than Sele. Here, this thunder. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. Forged in ice, never falters. <laughs> Conflict is pitiless. Like I'd probably, no I'd probably be. This guy might be dead if I had been using Sale by now. the The big strength for both of them is that they are both really strong, even if they don't have a type advantage. Here, this thunder. Like just because of the nature of the way they work. Stop that. Sele's baked in quantum res pierce goes a long way. Yeah, absolutely. How many of the characters you're using did you have to roll for? I mean, technically, uh, I believe every single one of them. No, Nat, not Nat. Nat was free. That's better. But the other three, yeah, definitely. Jeopard was my guaranteed character yet, uh, my guaranteed five star off the the tutorial thing, and boy, what a good one. The only one that I think I might have even wanted more was like Bronya, but like, oof. oh, he's a good boy. He's a good fucking boy. All right, I came down here and then forgot to get this. A diamond in the rock. Did I reach 300 pulls on the standard? No, fuck no, Jesus, I'm like 89 or some shit. Quick, there's more roots over here. Give me a moment. All right, let's do it. That's where I'm starting from. Got it. Oopsie. Who would I pick for the 300? Right now, it'd be Bronya for sure. Like, come on. If I somehow get Bronya before then, then I would pick um, Clara. <sighs> I guess we're done. I suspect the Ambrosial Arbor's root system must have spread far underground. The only thing we can say with Oh yeah, Welt's pretty good. Oh. The majority of those with Yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be Bronya then Welt the then Clara. Oh, they have a chance to grow back. So, the next step is 
Say hello, our dear friend. Please never do that again. I'm gonna do it right now. My starter five star was a double. You got Welt and Bronya. Fuck, dude. That is uh. That is lucky. <laughs> That is real good. Is that all? If I remember right, I got Jing Wan like really early into his banner. At like 40 poles or something like that. No, you're right, I got Yang King. Sorry, no, yeah, you're right. I got Yang King on first pity, and then I got him really early into the second pity. A diamond in the rough. That's what happened. Oh, can I not? Am I stuck here? It's fucking dead end. It's a dead end. Like I'm not gonna roll on the on the Silver Wolf banner at all. But I am gonna run on the Locha banner like hard. And uh I mean if I lose 50-50 on that and get like Welt instead, I'll be like, mm, okay. Uh Sleepy Stardew Farmer asks with a 500 bit donation. Thank you, sir. Um it's a random question, but how do you keep Elmo? What does that mean? Um, sorry, I'm like, yeah, you can, you can finish in the, in the chat, dude. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? How do you keep him? We, we don't open the doors. Coiled around the creation furnace, they've withered. That's Excellent. a cool dog. Nothing can stop you now. How many pillows do I have? I think three, maybe four. Like a lot. Well, we're in trouble now. Evil has begun. Here, the thunder. You're prepared. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Zap. <laughs> Show no mercy. Gotcha. Follow my charge. Naughty child. <laughs> this ends here. Oh, that's a weak ass counter, bitch. Hope you're prepared. In the name of land, will forged in ice. Says my message can't be sent because of moderation. I'm just not having a good day. Let me try again. Dude, what are you saying? <laughs> There's no time to lose. What are you saying that's like so upsetting? This is the classic Fantasy Star RPG you've been waiting for all these years. I mean, probably the fuck not, but I mean, it's it's still pretty nice. You asking about his fur? Oh, do you keep him shaved or, or not? Uh, do we keep him shaved or not? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, we recently got him a teddy bear cut. Paige wanted a lion cut, but um, but uh, the lady had been horribly injured by a different cat. Uh, 
earlier, and so instead gave him a teddy bear, teddy bear cut because it's a little easier. So basically, he's shaved now. We kept him fluffy for a long time, but um. This ends here. In the name of Led, will forged in ice. Never falters. This is a fucking fight right here, bro. Here, this thunder. Show no mercy. Auto ah disabled, huh? <laughs> Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Let's be friends. Yeah, I only have uh I only have Jeffy to to break the damage bar. It's, it's a little it's a little slow going. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder. Zap. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to think. If I wanted to pull somebody off right now, it would be, um... It would be, uh... If I want to pull somebody off right now, it would be uh, Natasha. Uh, but who would I actually? Who would I actually be replacing him with? Asta. Fire MC. No, I'm not gonna put two tanks. No, like if I if I took off. Conflict is pitiless. Oh boy. Huh? Peaches. I am kinda hungry. March. Uh, uh, I'm just saying. It'll be a shame if they get smashed to pieces. <laughs> Like if I, because I have a tank and a, um, I have a tank and a healer. So I'm like, like I would want a debuffer, right? Or I would want, um, oh fuck that. I would want a debuffer, or I'd want like a, um, uh, a secondary attacker. But secondary attacker means that. Jing Wan and, and them would be fighting for points. Ooh. I don't mean for this specific fight, I mean in general. I didn't get to choose that. Show no mercy. Follow my charm. Death boost, huh? Here, the thunder. Oh, all weakness is gone. Here, in the name of land, the will forged in ice never falters. Replace Nat with March? That's a bit much. A thousand wonders to rate minus one. Time for a shot, Nat. Oh fuck! There's no time to lose. Like I'm trying to destroy it as fast as I can, bro. Welcome, customers. Oh, 
Oh, come on! Show no mercy. Yay! In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice. Never like, it'd be nice if I could replace, like, uh, Natasha with, like, I don't know, uh, Sele. But, you know. Just a little That's not gonna <laughs> fuck it. Better late than never. There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. Yeah, it's two point hungry. Let's be friends. Yeah. This ends here. Oh my fucking god. Really? Jesus. Follow my charge. Here, the thunder. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. Fuck. Stop it! Oh. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. A thousand wonders. Minus one. Here, the thunder. Welcome, Kai. There we go. That's nice and ten. That's better. Stop hitting Pat. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Conflict is pitiless. There you go. Show no mercy. Take that, you dumb deer. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hope you're prepared. Naughty child. Nap time. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. You have my gratitude. Let's be friends. No. Stop that! Oh, you little shit! This ends here. A thousand wonders to raise fight as one. In the name of land, the will forged in ice never falters. Welcome, customers. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Show no mercy. I'm gonna zap you with lightning, you dumb fish. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't use type weaknesses. But I didn't know what the weaknesses were. Also, I have this party leveled up and no one else. You know. General Jing Yuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Sienjo decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. If 
Immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe. Entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Cienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the Plague Author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried while the fools remain. Here. Yo, your society's fucking stupid. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Go, friends, and stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. You're, I'm right here, bitch. You see that? When Evan's deer stomped the ground, branches sprout. I saw. Celestial trace of abundance are indeed marvelous. It's the first time I've seen something so miraculous. Bitch, you are sus. The fruits on those boughs are sparkling gold, just like what the legends say. So in the ancient times, the forebears received immortal fruits like this and turned into long life species. If I were to eat this fruit, would I attain endless life just like the natives? Are you not tempted by such a factor? Oh, I was tempted. I wanted to eat it. You save one? Yeah. Hey, would you accept immortality if it doomed the rest of Earth's ecosystem? How fast would it doom the Earth's ecosystem? Hey, Asta. Oh, King K. Uh, that's me. I did it. I'm brave and kind. I'm the best. Great. I can definitely help you. Mm. Remember the craftsman? I kind of remember. That's easy. Sent here and sent out. Everything's going well, but now the situation's getting beyond the scope. Can you help me? Yeah, okay. Oh, these are side quests. I'll deal with y'all later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, fine. No, 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 no. I only care about the fox lady. You have signal? Main screen, turn on. We caught Kafka. It was easy. It was it was hard. That man's out there somewhere. He ran away. He's very dangerous. Yeah, I don't I don't care. I want to roll for him, man. What's going on with you, man? I see. Huh? What? The- I- what? I clicked the link and it doesn't do anything. That's the next part? 
Artisanship Commission. And it shows me Xiao. No, but that's the Asta one. No, that's the wrong one. I think that added the main thing. Which is stupid. Well, I only- wait, what? There's fucking... six more? Really? How do you do this? Oh. <laughs> there was more than met the eye. Okay, new message. Uh, I might take a while, lady. I'm handling some shit. Okay. Speak with Dan Shu at the. That's really strange, cause it really it really does look like the um. The the Don Hong thing is just not. Available. Few games of chess will while away the time. Ah, you're back. From the sound of your stride, I sense you're in good spirits. You can tell just by listening. A person's footfall reveals a lot about their strength and emotions. Much like how a person's breath may serve as an indication of their overall health. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the prescription you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of Divine Foresight. What's the confusion? The conclusion. Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. I've compiled the details into a written analysis. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. If the Chief Counselor wants to see it urgently, I'll have to ask you to deliver it for me. All right. I'm not going to read that. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I feel like I'm like two seconds away from finishing the actual current story. Hey, yo. You're back. 
Less than I'm one hour? That ship. long? Are you serious? Wow. Even for those alchemists, that was fast. Like, when I said that, I, th I meant, no, like, shouldn't. five minutes. Wait. Why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission, Del. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to finish this tonight. Still, this is a clue we can follow. I will just, uh... Thank you. Please accept these gifts for your I'm just going to bang it out at some point later. Those were rewards from the Seed of Divine Foresight. These are gifts from me, personally. You've done so much for the Lafu. For the Sienjo. This is the least I could do. Never forget, guys, the least you can do is always absolutely nothing. Now? All right. Yeah, I'm going to call it. The only story relevant thing is Dan. Yeah, but Dan's broken. Oh, now it works. That's fucking stupid. All right, we'll take care of this a different day. But I have to... I have to go now. I am tired. Excuse me. I can just Alt F4 this game. All right. Oh, my chest popped. Ooh, that's, that's gross. All right. That's it for me today, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Not tomorrow. The day after on the podcast. Um, and then uh, next week, Street Fighter. And uh, System Shock, too. All right. I'm going to figure out somebody to go raid. But for now, I am out of here. Bye-bye.